Hello, hello. It feels like it's been so long, even though I did just do a Twitch live or a TikTok live. But I did not stream last week. Cause I was in Palm Springs. Hey Sandra. Okay. There we go. And this might take a minute for the chat to start coming through. Hi Ren. I'm sitting at my computer right now, so you can't see anything, but Hello everybody. I'm gonna move back over now to my spot and hopefully that chat starts coming through. <laughs> Hi everybody. Maybe I should sit at the computer until, <laughs> until it comes through. I'm here, I swear. Hello. <laughs> oh, I finally see some coming through, but they're the Twitch ones. A member, a it's Lieki doing a heist. Once a member, always a member. This thing's so glitchy. Hey, Bailey, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you, Andrea, for the nine months. I toggled the bot on and off Once and it's still member, not working, but maybe it'll just take a minute to come through. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Seems like I did that too Once soon. No one's here yet to join the heist yet. Hi, Sarah. And hello everybody on YouTube. YouTube chat's popping. Once a member, always a member. Shifty five. Shifty five. Ingrid, thank you for the ten months. Inkenberry, thank you for the shifty five months. I'm just gonna try repasting my link. Double check YouTube is selected. I did this before the stream started. So I was trying to like cover my bases, you know? But it didn't work. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Enjoy. Thank you for the nine months, Kevin. Thank you for the nine months as well. Currently waiting for Halo Infinite to download a 50 gigabyte patch. Oh my god, why are games so huge these days? Like, they don't even try. It's been so long, you're rusty. <laughs> it's just like the extension I use to read chat, like a combined chat. It's, it's finicky. It's finicky. And What's usually member, if it's acting up and will only show me Twitch chat, I just toggle the bot off and back on again. And I'm specifically logged into the bot with YouTube, which is weird. Well, like it's a, it's not the main bot I use, but it's like a, the bot Rick's chat bot has to be enabled for this to work. And like I'm logged into Botrix with YouTube. And yet it only will show me Twitch chat. So silly. I mean, I can just pop it out and have double chat. Read two separate chats. Once a member, always a member. Wow, Although, 30. Lurking today because of a migraine, but I love pin grading. Don't cover so that. I might have to risk the pain. <laughs> MC, thank you for the 30 months. <laughs> Sorry to hear about the migraine. And Noah, thank you for the nine months. And this might have to make the chat cover my um my preview that I see for the stream. Wait, maybe I did this wrong. Wait, widgets, chat. Once a member, always a member. No, that's on. Okay. Let's repasting the link one more time, and then I'm going back over. We got to start the stream. I present to you a gift. If I have to read separate chats, I got to read separate chats. It's just the way it is. 
I'll put the YouTube chat over here, I guess, and move the alerts down there. The legacy events. Save changes. Yeah, and then we'll just put YouTube chat over here. Okay, that works. Sort of. Oh wait, now they're both working. Wait, what the hell? Oh! <sighs> this is why you never give up. Okay, fuck, I'm coming over now, I'm coming over. Sorry for the rough start. <laughs> it's working! Oh my God, Princess of Pineapples, thank you for the five gifted. Oh my goodness, five gifted memberships. And Teresa, thank you for the 10 months. Well, I'm putting events back over here. What if that cursed it? <laughs> no, we're good, we're good, okay. I wonder if rearranging the Streamlabs layout is what made it work, which is silly because like, <laughs> it's just a visual layout of how I see all my windows and stuff. Okay, so if anyone said anything, you gotta re-say it, because my chat refreshed. The most recent comment I see, or the oldest I should say, is Jenny is saying, Oh yay, I'm finally catching another live stream. And then Bronwyn saying, I think it is now, at Teresa. I can't see anything above that. If you're constantly reading chat, you'll never get work done. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wasn't even reading that much. I was trying to troubleshoot some stuff, but it's working now. I still had a little bit of coffee left in here when I put a new one in here, and the foam was doming over the top. Once a member, always a Just member. order five pins. Maybe I can have two more pins. I'm obsessed with pins now. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. Love catching alive. Is it weird that I'm having like flashbacks to the poo moment? Stop crying. It won't do any good. And anyway, you have a lot of work to like, do starting right now. We had a yellow pin grading background. We have a little wrinkly cloth. This might drive me nuts, but it's just nice for flipping the pins, like, so they're not clanking against the table the whole stream. So, Looney Moth. Looney Moth with the glitter. Last year, I only did one new pin and it was little duckies. So this is momentous. Okay, this one I just stuck on here for nice. the sake of the thumbnail. I mean, it could stay on there, but I'm missing one cl backing clutch thing because one of them was had like black in it and I threw it out. So I'm short one, but I have, I have extras in other colors so I can, I just got to grab them. But this was just an extra sitting off to the side and I stole one of the clutches off of it. So yesterday I did a hundred of the, the strobes. And today I'm gonna get Christian's help with the pins. So I'm gonna grade some pins and then I'm gonna give them to him to pin onto the card and sleeve them. But I still wanna do some of the, like the, that part myself, but I also wanna give him some. So I think I'm gonna try to burn through a hundred straws, just quality checking them so I can pass them off to Christian. feels like so overcast, it's so bright. I'm like squinting. Okay, so t yeah, two days ago, it was so nice out, so warm. We had all the windows open. I was like, oh, spring has sprung. Ah, it's just like fresh spring smell and so warm. All the remaining snow, what little of it was left was melting. It was glorious. And last night it started snowing. And this morning, everything's white, like just covered in white. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And it's forecast to snow all week. <laughs> what? I'm suing Mother Nature. Uh, I guess those bins I brought up to Christian, I should have given him one fewer bin. One let, one. I kept one to put the naked pins in. 
Okay, we got a couple more over here, but like I need some of these bins too. Oh, there's some down there. Okay, wait, we're good, we're good. At least on my monitor, it looks bright. <laughs> Maybe it's because the pins are reflecting. <laughs> I wish this gold, like this sheet, was a little bit of a warmer tone. It looks like a greenish yellow on camera. I swear, all we get is winter and summer, never spring. It's same with fall. Fall is so short. Mm, okay, wait. These were not part of the 100. Put those aside. Cause I need accurate counts. I like to just know how many I have. Like I'm probably not gonna count the A grades. I'm just gonna count the B grades. I'm just gonna set them down right, like just down like that. Cause I don't wanna have to reach into the bin. I'll just put them all in the bin after. I've grade, oh yeah, cause I gotta grade them. Yeah, right. So the first hundred I did I only had six B grades and four of them were kind of like barely B grades. There were only two where I was like, yeah, that's definitely a B grade. Two people walking their dogs in opposite directions. They just crossed paths and now the doggies are excitedly sniffing each other. See Mother Nature, I'm not sure you'd win that one. <laughs> You guys are freezing and here we're burning. Spring has to come back. It was warm so nice here on Monday, then temp dropped and it's cold today. I want spring, yeah. Those groundhogs are full of shit. How much would one B grade strawberry pin be with shipping to the UK? Oh, f I don't know what the shipping would be. You'd have to Try adding something to your cart. Adding just one item. Like if you're buying just one thing, the shipping's not really worth it. But and on the flip side though, cause it's international, if your order is under 250 grams with including the box weight, then I think, I think the shipping is around 15 USD or like just under 15 USD for the lightest international class. Excluding expensive places like Australia. So that's not really, that's obviously gonna cost more than the pin. It's usually not worth it to order one small thing online, but. Yeah. The pins, so the A grade pins are $10 and the, the B grades are $7.50. Oh, and I'm gonna do something different this time. So if you're looking for the B grades, like what I'm gonna do is have like, a, like, you know, there's the collections listed at the top of the store, like pins, sketchbooks, whatever, like stationery. I've got, I don't think sketchbooks is one of them anymore, but it says, you know, I've got the, the collections are listed at the top as menu navigation items. I think I'm just gonna have all the B-grade stuff together in one collection. So when you go to see the enamel pin, it's not gonna show any B-grades on the listing. Like you'd have to go elsewhere for the B-grades. Cause then I can have like one listing with all the B-grade pins or something like that. Then one listing with, I do actually have one listing with all the B-grade sketchbooks. So it'd be kind of like that. One listing for the B-grades of, a given product type. <laughs> cause then it kind of keeps the listing cleaner cause it's like the B grades sell fast usually. And then it's like you go to the listing, there's a choice of A and B, but the B is grayed out. And I just, I just want to keep it separate. So. Have you thought about having pins for pre-order? This is how art works. I don't this do pre-orders. You see this? Wow. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Okay? Look, this is this what we call art, okay? If there's one thing that would make me do pre-orders, it's like a short-term pre-order for sweatshirts. For embroidery, but we still have to limit how many are allowed. But... 
I just order a certain number of pins. Like there's always plenty in stock. I don't think pre-orders are necessary. Plus then every time I go to pack orders, I'd have to like sift out the ones that have pre-orders in it and it'd be just such a pain in the ass. And also PayPal makes you send stuff out within like 14 or 21 days of them placing the order. So if you, if you accept PayPal and you do pre-orders, you could get in trouble. And I've seen artists get locked out of their funds for that. A lot of people get away with it, but I ain't risking it. Are you close to getting zipper you, hoodies? But you look like garbage rats. You look like you cut out a sewer. No, I look good today. And you look like garbage. <laughs> the zip ups I plan to have for the summertime, because the summertime is going to be some random stuff. That's also actually something I should. Okay, because I, I would like to do some kind of embroidered sleeve. But I could also do DTF stuff for the zip ups, which would be fun, especially for like a large back graphic. That would be one of the things I would do DTF for. Oh. I kind of want to prioritize the embroidery. So yeah, the summer update. Okay, first of all, I'm <laughs> I've had to push back when I'm doing my next shop update. And so now the totes might actually be in this upcoming shop update instead of the summer update. I don't know. And by summer, I mean like early summer because the fall update's gonna be in August, which is technically summertime. I know but for damn well. We need a band hammer. Wait, is someone acting bad? My live streams just do not take showers because they're just inferior and completely nasty. Oh, this like weird Twitch person. There's a promo bot. Well, okay. Excuse me, Coming. Princess. I don't even have my mouse over here. Well, actually, I can't actually um moderate from my joint chat anyway. I have to open Twitch. Wait a minute, okay, I've been missing some alerts here. Because <laughs> there's so many sound bites coming through, I'm just tuning them out. Okay, where do we leave off? We had Princess of Pineapple's Five Gifteds. Samantha, thank you for the nine months. Ars and Claire, thank you for the nine months. And Define the Limits, thank you for the eight months. Eric, thank you for the 10 months. And Lilypad, thank you for the five gifted memberships. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, let's get to Twitch. How much are you planning to sell the sticky notes for? I gotta math it out because I kind of forget how much I paid for them. But also that I'm gonna have more coming. And so these first ones I bought are gonna be cheaper than the new ones I'm getting. Did this bot just post one comment? Cause like you can just ignore it if it's one comment. But I'm over here, so I'll ban. <laughs> it looks like they only posted once. Okay. Oh my God, huge banner on the bottom of Twitch. TwitchCon Europe tickets on sale now. Scared. $7 per pad. No, 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 no. That's ridiculous pricing. Although I don't knock people for charging that much because they their base price is really expensive. Okay, so here's the tea on the sticky notes. During the TikTok live on Monday, I was testing the stickiness and they're, they're pretty sure good, but that? certain surfaces, you they don't sure stay stuck down you flat. Sure about that? I only had one surface that actually fell off of, which was the metal of my packing station. But like, so they're they're good, but they're not great. You'll see results of more testing in the vlog, but I decided to, cause I, I didn't order that many to begin with. So I ideally would have more. And I'm glad I didn't order more because they're not the best. So I, People were saying Vistaprint has the Post-it brand ones, and so I ordered some off of there. And in order to get a decent pricing, I had to order 500 of each. So there's gonna be 200 of each for these ones, which will be cheaper. And then the Vistaprint ones are gonna be more expensive. And that they'll be like official Post-it brand. So that I'll have both listed. 
Although I'm unsure if I should just do these ones as like bundles of four. But at the same time I want, well yeah, because in the post-it brand ones can be part of the Luna Moth bundle. Because also I wasn't going to do sticky note bundles because I didn't have very many of them, but now I can, so. World Frog Day, yoo-hoo! Do you know when you might put the pins in the shop or are you putting them in the shop when you do your next shop update? They're going with the next shop update. I tend to drop stuff in batches. Because for a lot of people, the shipping's only really worth it if you're buying a lot at once. Especially if you want to try to hit the $100 threshold for the free shipping. So, I like to kind of drop What's things member, together. Plus, I like doing the bundles. And, yeah. So, that'll be April 9th. I was going to go April 2nd. But now, because I'm reordering some sticky notes, I had to push it back. A member, a member. And then I also ordered... Luna Moth planner pad last minute. I gotta keep an eye on my emails for that. Cause I think I have to approve a proof. Okay. Nothing yet had some security alerts but that was just me logging in with the bot account okay first I was like huh oh wait that was me who got access to my account oh yeah me I've given up on twitch the ads interrupt way too much right like Twi <laughs> twitch has been awful for that although if you want it well I don't actually know how well um ad blockers work on Twitch these days. I wouldn't fault you for using one, but it is crazy. Unless you're subscribed, I think you don't see ads, but it's like, what are you gonna, so you're, like you can't subscribe to everybody you watch on Twitch, right? Like, ugh. So yeah, I thought I had everything for the next shop update, but now I have more sticky notes coming in and planner pads. Cause I was gonna do a digital planner pad and then I made it and I was like, mm, what if I just did like a low quantity? Cause I already reduced, I, I originally one time, like when I got the original ones, the square ones, I ordered a thousand of each, which is ridiculous. And then for something like Ducky, did, wait, did I do a thousand for duckies? I don't know, but I did do it that, or 500 for the straws, I know that. But even that seems like too much for the planner pads. They're just not popular enough. Price, 55 tacos, 55 but I don't want to resort to digital only for them. I was going to do it just for Luna Moth, but then I was like, no, this looks really cute. Like, print it. But if I order only 250, the price is going to have to go up. To be honest, I th feel like my planner pads are like ridiculously cheap right now because they're eight bucks each. But they're going to have to go up to like 12. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> Twitch emotes, smiley, Twitch ads. <laughs> Feel naked with no bunny. Hi, Megan. I have ad block, it never worked on Twitch. I'm having surgery April 2nd. Get to go shopping for Bailey J items to make me yeah. feel better while recovering. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the 9th now, so you might have to. You'll probably be. Decently recovered by then. <laughs> sure. It'll be like the. It'll be like the exciting, like, look at me, I did it. Now to treat myself. And Mori, thank you for the 10 months. Vanu, thank you for the 8 months. There's Twitch Turbo for no ads if you watch a lot of people. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about Twitch Turbo. I didn't realize it still existed. How much is that, though? I guess you probably would, like, you would, it'd be ad-free, but you wouldn't have the emotes for people you're subbed to. <laughs> Twitch is so 2023. Adblocker stopped working last year on Twitch. I've tried alternative viewers, but they always mess up in one way or another. And yeah, for YouTube, I have it set so that no mid-rolls play while the stream is going. But what's weird is it sometimes adds mid-rolls to the VOD, even though I specifically have the settings to not do that. But I can't 
Like once the stream is over, I have to wait for the stream to process before I can go in and manually insert some ads. So sometimes I don't get around to it till the next day. And then I look and there's like, there's like 10 ads front loaded to the first half of the live stream. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't authorize these. Cause like I don't play any while I'm streaming, but then I, I add one per hour to the VOD. Kevin must have a lot of points. <laughs> Riza, thank you so much for the 80 months. I hit the big eight. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Thank you so much. 13.99 cab for turbo. Woo. I mean, I pay that for YouTube premium, but that's because I'm on YouTube all day. I guess if you're on Twitch all the time, it could be worth it. Tammy, thank you for the YouTube membership. Would you consider releasing the notepad designs digitally as well? Possibly. Before I really didn't want to because, well, because the thing is every time you release a digital product, it could easily be stolen by people with nefarious intentions. <laughs> but um, because when I was ordering a thousand of each notepad, like that's a lot to sell. So I didn't want to sell a digital version alongside it, even though I did do that with the planner pads, but I quickly realized that was stupid to order that many planner pads, but like I'm all, I was also kind of scared it would interfere with the sales. Wait, do I have a thousand straw notepads? Oh, I have a thousand strawberry note. Oh, yeah, the planner pads I ordered 500 of and then notepads was a thousand. And same for like the six I bought that are part of the bundle, I guess. But now with Ludamoth, I only ordered 500. <sighs> so the Ludamoth notepad is going to be more expensive than the other ones and the planner pad. So I'm going to start ordering lower quantities, but that also means I can make more designs and order more. Like so there'll be more variety on the store instead of like just a few things. Okay, I think I need to close these curtains. This is getting bright and I'm getting blinded. <laughs> How can it be so overcast? And so bright at the same time. Ow. These are also just really reflective from the light. So sometimes it looks like my brightness is too high, but I'm like, is it? <laughs> Yeah, I do have lights on in the room too, but it's like the window that's the most bothersome. I'm better off just closing the curtains. They're mostly closed. I've got like a foot opening. <laughs> it's more consistent if the curtains are closed, like consistent lighting, because then it's not like sun going in and out from behind the clouds. I want to dive into the pile of straw pins. That would probably hurt. Well, Sub update April 9th, me, which is a Tuesday. Cause then I can make sure everything's good for the Wednesday stream. Cause I used to do the updates on Wednesdays. But then it's a little too chaotic. <laughs> Ty Kid, thank you for the 10 months. Do you miss your DDR streams? A little bit. So sad. Not overly, because it was kind of hard to chat, because like while the song is playing, I can't read chat. But Plus you couldn't really hear me well, but now I have this mic, so I could actually wear a mic, you know? Before. Once a member, it was like, a <laughs> the mic is off to the side. Are you going to buy the Fairy Loot Special Edition what Throne of Glass books? are you talking about? I don't have physical books usually. I enjoyed Throne of Glass, but I don't like it enough to own a physical copy. I just have my Kindle. I'm almost done fourth wing right now. Uh, uh. 
Do you have that mic listed in your description? I don't think so. I was thinking recently how I should really do like an Amazon storefront for some, cause then I can have like a category for my filming stuff, a category for like art supplies, category for house stuff. Cause then it's easier to find things you've seen previously. But that would just be for Amazon stuff, I guess though. Although most things can be found there. Does the Kindle work? For me it is. I like that it's lighter than a book and I have a case on it that props it up so I don't have to hold it. And I like that I can read in the dark. Like there is something nice about holding a book. You know, my forearms are easily irritated. I'm not gonna hold a 900 page book. Team Kindle for life. <laughs> the only thing is if I want Christian to read one of my books, I have to hand over the Kindle. Ugh. Lydian, thank you for the 10 months. Luxunny, thank you for the membership and Poetic Angel. I guess Angela, I'm the one calling you Poetic Angel. <laughs> Angela, thank you for the nine months. How are you and Christian and Kat's doing? Good, good. Happy first day of spring, everyone. We got a dumping of snow overnight. Don't say the S word around me. Spring. Just when the weather was looking so good. I mean, it's not going to be that cold this week, but it is forecast to snow all week. It'll be below zero, obviously. But it's like single digits below zero. After four months with my Kindle case, just learned it has a stand. I kind of want to get one of those things that clips onto your Kindle and then you push a button and it flips the pages for you. That'd be so nice. <laughs> hey, Joe. I'm joining in from work. How's everyone doing? Hello. I'm good. I have an iPad mini, but it's gonna go to my cousin pretty soon and not sure if I wanna get Kindle or wait for a new gen iPad mini. I guess it depends if you're using the iPad for other stuff, then it might be worth it to go for the iPad. Although I wonder how, like a Kindle's probably nicer on the eyes though. Although I look at my phone for hours on end, so I'm sure it's not that hard to look at an iPad for hours on end. <laughs> I like to say crotchet instead of crochet. <laughs> I came across this, this TikTok video and the guy's like, I crocheted this sword. And then I look at the account username, it's brochet. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Once a member, brochet. always a member. For a second I thought you said iPod mini and I was like, what year is this? Gotta boot this up and see what songs are on it. Boobies. Do I still have one of these chargers? Ugh. Ugh. These are such an abomination. I don't actually might not have one, but I'm sure I could buy one online on Amazon. So cute, so scratched up. Look at all these strawberries, yeah. Oh, this is a Kiki-sized phone. 
what was I watching the other day where they had really small phones? Cause they were all like iPhone fours or something, but they looked even smaller. Actually, well, it looks square edged like an iPhone four. That's why I say that. So it must've been an iPhone four. Everyone's hands looked huge. I forget. Oh, Parks and Recreation. <laughs> Cause Christian was watching it and I was like watching it by proxy. And I was just like, oh my God, those are small. Feel majorly old after seeing that iPod. <laughs> and this is not even the oldest one, I don't think. Two gigabytes. So cute. Hi, Hitachian. Good evening from Romania. <laughs> Crotchety old lady here too. I have iPad and, or I have Kindle and iPad mini. I can read on Kindle for way longer. So cute, but so slippery. <laughs> I see Kitty Paw in the left corner of the small box. Oh, is she licking her leg or something? Baby. She's looking at the staircase. I think she heard Christian come down the upstairs floor to the main floor. She's still, she's staring at the staircase. Like, is he coming down here? Hey, Sian. Is TikTok really being banned in the USA? I doubt it's gonna happen, but you know, if it does, I'll eat my words. I'll be a little mad because I just started posting there regularly this year. Although I'm Canadian, so like I would probably be fine, but like <coughs> most of my audience is American. Kiki size phone had me howling. <laughs> Kiki, you have a call? Yes. Do you want it on speaker? Okay. <laughs> Kiki, that's your agent. I hear they want to post you on cats.com. They actually are going to post Kiki on cats.com. <laughs> if they haven't already, I don't know when that's going up, but it's just the video I made of the kitty arch. They asked permission to post it and I said, yes. Okay, I've hardly done anything, but we've just been chatting so much. <laughs> Where did we leave off with the alerts? Madison, thank you for the two months. Al, thank you for the seven months. And Ash, thank you for the membership. Kiki's like, WTF is this? Remember when having a hardware keyboard was a flex? Yeah, everyone's like, ew, touch screens. I remember when my brother got, he got like an iPhone 3 or something. One of the early iPhones. And I was just like, ugh. <laughs> like, ugh, how do you type? Ugh. <laughs> but now it's the, you know, the touchscreen phone is superior. Took me a while to come around to wireless earbuds too, but I'm fully sold. Cause I have one in my ear most of the day. I got one in my ear right now, listening to the stream. I still wear wired for my game streams cause I feel like there's a slight delay, just like ever so slight with the wireless. Like if I'm watching a YouTube video, I don't really notice, but for video games where it's like, you know, if it's like timing dependent for certain things, I want the sound accurate. Although I actually did use my Bluetooth earbuds to play some Elden Ring on vacate. Why am I trying to wipe the fingerprints off? I'm gonna be touching it again. I was wearing this glove yesterday. Cause then I can just, it just kind of helps. Although sometimes it's nice to use your bare finger if you need to like get some grip to get something off. But this is nice for just wiping away like a little white fleck or something to check if it's in the enamel or not. 
It's like, oh, it's just a piece of fuzz on the surface. All right, bye. So yeah, this first 100, I'm just gonna grade them and then I'm gonna pass them off to Christian to pin them. And then I'm gonna do some Luna Moths. I mean, I probably should grade two bags and then give it to him. But this is also the most boring part to watch, so. <laughs> Typing with the number of keys was so annoying scrolling through the letters for one SMS. I mean, that was like T9, but then they came out with phones with like a full keyboard. That, you know. I had one of those. It was the best. I have all my old phones except my very first one, my very first flip phone. And I saw it at an antique store and I was like, should I buy it? Oh, the stream preview is just behind. I was like, why did the camera just switch? My stream replay is showing me holding the phone up to Kiki or the iPad or iPod. Let's just pause that. Okay. So I was like really tempted, but it was like 50 bucks or something. And I was just like, well, it's different because it's not mine. If it was my phone, then yeah, but it wasn't my phone. So yeah, this was the one that had the full keyboard. So no T9 required, which is nice because the first flip phone I had to use T9. Isn't this pretty? Antique store, yeah, I know. I mean, they have just like also just vintage things and collect like older collectibles. So a lot of the stuff there is the stuff from my childhood, which is so sad. So yeah, it's not all antique, it's like vintage too. So that was my phone. This looks a lot like the Samsung flip, the Z flip or whatever, which is why I'm tempted to get one, but I didn't. I went for the S23 Ultra, but. Part of me wants one just for the nostalgia of this. And then my iPhone 4, so small. Yeah, Rough Riders. I love how it's square because I think one of the i like uh, one or two of the iPhone generations they stopped making them square and I was so sad and then they went back to square and I was like yeah even though I don't have one but <laughs> I just love the square look square edge this thing's heavy holy I replaced the battery in this thing too myself compared to my current phone oh my god so yeah, I was watching Parks and Rec and they all had iPhone fours and I was like oh my god. They look so small. Sheesh. And then, wait, there's one missing from in here. Oh yeah, it's sitting on the island, I guess. I still use my S9 as my shower phone. So this is the Galaxy S6. And then I got the S9 upstairs because I still use it. I love how this is gold. That looks so good. The case is mine. <laughs> like mermaids. So there's most of my phones, other than the first one and my previous one. Want a member? Always a member. I'm hoarding them. In my iPod. I had a little black MP3 player, which I don't have anymore. But I had that before the iPod mini. How does this fit in here? I don't think I have that anymore, but it had a little red USB stick, a little thumb drive thingy that you'd stick into the MP3 player <laughs> to play the songs. So cute. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> so wait, Angela, do you have? <laughs> The two YouTube accounts with memberships and the Twitch account with the sub. <laughs> Thanks for the 10 months. <laughs> I guess for the Twitch account, it makes sense to call you poetic because it's like poetic angel art. 
And then on YouTube, there's the Poetic Angel Art by Angela Bassett, and then your other Angela account, too. <laughs> Once a member, always a member. I'm just realizing how many sub slash memberships you have. <laughs> Irish chick, thank you for the 10 months. I gave one of my old phones to my nephew when he was little to play with. Did it break? Haven't seen that iPod in years. Can't believe you still kept yours yet. <laughs> hoarding my old stuff. It's fun to look at though. For moments like this, it's fun to pull them out and look at them. Once a member, always a member. These are all really good. This manufacturer usually does really good pins with very few B grades. Although the duckies, I had a lot of B grades because there was a plating issue. That was also different plating. Once like the member, gold plating's been member. good, but that black nickel plating was not done well <laughs> Angela that's enough counts already says Lieki support Bailey Beisha <laughs> this is kind of B plus I'll just set it aside for now Luca thank you for the nine months Dishini thank you for the 10 months and Mindy, thank you for the membership. Hey Glee, no live last week, so I completely forgot. So happy you're here. Yeah, I was in Palm Springs. I don't like to say I'm on vacation, but there's usually signs, but like that's why I had to, I had to put out a message because of the live stream. So I was like, oh, I have other commitments. <laughs> But yeah, I was on a little vacay with the fam because Christian's parents were, well, they are spending the month in Palm Springs. They're renting a Verbo or Airbnb, whatever. And there's an open invite to join. They did the same thing last year and we didn't end up going. So this year we're like, we should go because it's like, a super inexpensive vacation for us because we are just staying with them so no accommodations plus they like really wanted us to come so they're like please come we'll pay for your flights and so we're like okay <laughs> and then they drove down there so they have their truck so it's not like we're ubering around so we really got treated did you enjoy the vacation? Yes. I almost feel like I could have stayed longer, but I was also kind of itching to get back home to the kitties and like get back to the business stuff. Like now that I'm back, I'm like, oh, I just want to go hang out in the backyard of that house now. Because it's got a pool and hot tub outside and then it's along a golf course. So there's just like... Well, uh, and we're on a hole where there's a huge pond. So there's like green grass in a big pond and you see the golfers pull up in their golf carts and they would tee off right up, right behind the backyard. <laughs> like right behind that house in particular. So you could just people watch. And yeah, uh, Christian's brother was there along with my sister-in-law and my nieces. Because we timed it to be there at the same time as them, so we could see them too. And I'm like my niece's favorite when I'm there. So I spent a lot of time like playing with them or like sitting, always have to sit next to them during meals. And they wanted to play Fall Guys because I brought my laptop. And I guess they play Fall Guys at home a little bit, so at least that's what they told me. I had no idea. And so they wanted to play Fall Guys, but the internet was so bad there that the game wouldn't even launch. It kept saying, check your internet connection. And I, I struggled to watch YouTube videos and stuff while I was there too, so it was just not, not good internet. So then I was like, okay, I gotta, maybe we can play something offline, but I, I'd be limited to what's on my Steam library, right? 
Okay, this one, the polishing is like really streaky. I might make that a B grade. But like you only see it when the light hits it a certain way. So it's kind of B plus. Because there is kind of like a directional buff to these. But that one was just a bit much. Anyway, so I was looking at what I had. All my games are like... Oh, yeah. My games are like... Bloodborne, Dark Souls, <laughs> Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Elden Ring. And I'm like, oh my god, what the hell can they play? That's on here. So I booted up Stray, which is above their age group. Because my nieces are four and seven. But they really like the idea of playing as the cat. And they did well. The game like, gives you prompts when to jump. It'll show like a little A button. So they could just see the prompt on the screen and push the corresponding button. I just had to read the text for them and kind of guide them sometimes. And we got, like, we played that a few times. We got kind of far in the game. Like, maybe close to halfway. But we're getting to the part where there's, like, all the Zerks and you get the gun to kill the Zerks, and they're scared of that. Especially my younger niece is <laughs> scared of the Zerks. Plus, that's when I would have to take over to play for them to shoot them all. You're doing a lot of family trips this year? <laughs> I always forget Canada is connected to us. Maybe I need, oh, to the US. Maybe I need to go back to US. <laughs> first B, oh, that was the, there's like, what are you talking about? OB grade, second one. I should put them up here. They're behind the face cam. Haley, thank you for the membership. Christian's gonna pin these faster than I can grade them at this rate. <laughs> oh, that has a really big scratch on the leaf. These B grades really aren't that bad, I'm telling you. But, it is what it is. Like, I like to think to myself, if I bought an A grade pin and that's what it looked like, would I be a little disappointed? Like, that's kind of how I <laughs> judge it in my mind. The B grades are shy. Sometimes it looks like there's a scratch, but it's just something on the surface of the pin. Just wipe it off. It's more like a smudge. Yeah, that came right off. Okay. Also doing a lot of antique shopping this year, so feels feels so long, haven't done any. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. Question for everyone, what's your favorite pizza topping in pizza restaurant? I'm a bit of a pizza hater. I like pizza, I think it's delish. But like, if I'm gonna get takeout, I feel like I'd wanna get something else. Although it's so nice having like a frozen pizza to throw in the oven. But I'm just kind of like a cheese pizza kind of gal. Or like pepperoni. I like lots of different pizzas, but I tend to go on the simple side. What's a topping that gets me excited? This is gonna sound crazy, but when I would get the veggie pizza from Fresh Slice, I really liked the pineapple on it. <laughs> you really don't usually go for pineapple it was really good on the veggie pizza is it a veggie no but it was there it just elevated it somehow oh yeah margaritas good yeah but i guess that's kind of cheese pizza adjacent <laughs> it's fancy cheese pizza Hawaiian. I don't really like Hawaiian. I don't like any pizza really that has just like the layers of meat in it. And I am a ham hater. 
but I will eat any pizza. The only thing I'll pick off a pizza is olives. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but I'll eat them. I'm not a big fan of the ham, but I'll eat it. The olives I will pick off. Hey, doubter. Doubter. Oh, that's a hair. A little fuzzy for my glove. I thought it was a scratch. I like thin and crispy pepperoni pizza from Pizza Hut. Brooklyn wants you to come to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> it was a shame that like our Palm Springs trip lined up with her spring break because my dad went to go see her and I couldn't join because I already had this other trip booked. <laughs> this has like a, this tiny little bubble in the enamel. Like it's slightly raised beside one of those things. And that should still be an A grade. It's so minor and you can only see it when the light hits it a certain way. I gotta like chillax on the grading, you know? Because even A-grades aren't going to be perfect. <laughs> Bailey's so quirky. With my plain pizzas. I like quirky things on my pizza, such as cheese. And call me crazy, but I really like when the pizza has crust. And maybe some tomato sauce. Marinara, if you will. Please get the bot. I'm suffering. Wait, I banned the bot. What are you talking about? Wait, what's happening? I banned that account that was showing up before and I don't see anything else. There's a different one. Is it spamming or is it post one thing? <laughs> uh, that's... It's kind of like two little tiny imperfections, but they're so small. But the fact that there's two of them makes me annoyed. Should That probably shouldn't be a B grade, but... <laughs> Help! No, Bailey, it's A grade. Stop being stupid. Because the thing about those really minor defects is I'm sure a lot of these A grades, well, at least some of them, probably have similar defects that I just didn't catch because they're so minor. Apple Tom Tom is a spammer. Okay, I'll go take a look. Usually there's no moderation required, but... Oh, you know what? This is set to top chat. Oh, wait, that's YouTube. Wait. <laughs> but also, that is weird. It's set to top chat. Mm. Oh, I see a few comments here. This is the weirdest spamming I've ever seen though. It's like talking about a cafe and cakes. <laughs> what is this? We were talking about pizzas, not cafes. We we're gonna have to ban you. <laughs> pizzas only. Did I say cafes and not cakes? We were talking about pizzas. Sausage Supreme. There's something about the meat that is used for sausage on pizza, especially those little balls. Like I just, they taste gross. 
there's something about it. I don't like little meatballs on my pizzas. But again, I'll eat it. Like, if someone else ordered the pizzas, I will eat it. But I wouldn't <laughs> order that myself. Got free cake at work today. Ah! What kind of cake? Almost done with my homework. Can't wait for spring break already. <laughs> Hey, Dua. Hi, Dula Peep. You could really tell it was a bot, by the way. It didn't react at all to us discussing banning it. I mean, it could have been a person just spamming for the sake of it. <laughs> like expecting to be banned and therefore not acknowledging it. Any updates with your shipments? The... Which shipments? Sweatshirts? We got the last of the sweatshirts in today for a bit of... Straub... Crew neck restock. Because a lot of the strawberry crew necks were sold out and just had hoodies. So... There's more on the way. It wasn't balls. It was like slices of sausage. Everyone needs to stop talking about pizza. You're making me hungry and I literally finished eating dinner like one minute ago. <laughs> anchovies and olives. Yum in my tongue. <clears throat> to be fair, I've never had anchovies on a pizza. So maybe I shouldn't knock it till I've tried it. My cats hate those sausage balls. If the above sentence doesn't tell you how spoiled they are, I don't know what will. <laughs> That's a perfect little BB sized treat. But yeah, even they know there's something up with the sausage balls. Looking all fancy with the glove. My mom's B-Day was on Sunday, and I feel the same about her cake. I don't want to waste it, but really don't want any more of it. Wait, I didn't look at the answer for the cake flavor, and now it's scrolled up, and I can't see. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, MCAT. I've never seen anchovies on pizza offered here in England. I honestly don't know if I've seen it anywhere, other than maybe like a build-your-own-pizza, maybe. Got back from Paris on Sunday ever since. I've been so ill. Help me. Oh, no. Not the Paris plague. <sighs> There's two tiny little dents. One down here, one down here. That should probably still be Cause I gotta chillax. Now I'm just gonna re- Oh, I'm not through these yet. I was gonna review the B grades. We got a few more. <laughs> sausage balls. Yeah, sausage balls. Not sausage and balls. Did not have anchovies at Pizza Hut. I haven't had pizza for a month, now I want one right now, but cannot order because of allergies. Only self-made is okay. I love anchovies straight out of the can, but I don't know about on a pizza. I feel like the fish taste would seep <laughs> into the pizza.
Hmm. I feel like I should have just gone for black clutches because I was like, no color is going to really match because these are very muted colors and the clutches are always brightly colored. And in hindsight, I was like, why didn't you just get black then? <laughs> Oops. Okay. Reviewing. Okay, no, we're going to keep that as a B. What? Is it just that little blip there? That could probably be an A grade. Or is there something else on this one? Well, there's a minor scratch. Oh, no, and there's the little... Okay, we'll just keep it B. There's like three ultra minor things, but then like combined, I'm like, ugh, okay, fine. Oh yeah, and this is the one that has like a l aggressive, not aggressive, but it's like, I mean, I guess you could say aggressive buffing to the point where it looks like it has multiple scratches. Okay, so that's pretty good. Out of 100, we only have three B grades. So I'll set those aside and I'll just give Christian the A grades to keep it simple. Grading them is so much faster when they are mostly good. Like with the duckies, there was something on the plating that I had to get off with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It was such a pain in the butt. And then they weren't always salvageable. I should probably do another batch of straws. I'll give him 200. I want to do some of the pinning onto the backing cards myself on stream. But I feel like by the time I grade another batch, he would be through these. So if I just do another hundy and then give them to him, and then I'll do some Luna Moths for me to pin. So let's grab another straw bag. Can we see what makes them be great? I don't even know if I would be able to get it on camera, to be honest. I was saying it out loud, but you know. I feel like most of my B grades are like not very bad at all. No, I'm not gonna. Sometimes I cut them off. Other times I just do this, but it gets sore on my thumb after a while, but we're early enough in this venture. Because then they're usable. Not that I have many uses for these. But... I could put up a listing on my website that's like a zero dollar listing that you'd have to pay for shipping though. <laughs> so if you're placing an order for other stuff, you could also buy these. <laughs> It wouldn't be worth it getting just those. Okay, Infinite Minds. Love the strawberry design on the enamel pin, so pretty. Thank you. Why is there no picture or sound? I've refreshed and been waiting five minutes, still nothing. I don't know. They probably don't hear me talking if <laughs> they don't see the stream. Did you use the locking clutches you already have for the strawberry pins? I could. Those are kind of expensive, but like, I'm not, I don't, I don't even know if I'd have enough left, to be honest, to do all of them. I think these are fine. Like, you don't even see the clutches. It's fine if the color doesn't match. I use tiny bags for doll accessories. Screaming Sicilian is not spicy at all. The meats on their all meat pizza isn't spicy to me and I'm sensitive to spice. Like they advertise it as being spicy, but it's not. Will Daisy or Mushroom Sketchbooks be restocked? No, because they've already been restocked once and they took a very long time to sell out. Because the thing about the 
the sketchbooks is I have to order at least 500 of each variant. So it's like, so originally I dropped 500 white, 500 cream, and then those sold pretty fast. So then I ordered for like the mushroom, I ordered 500 cream. And then for Daisy, I ordered 500 white as the restock. And then those took a long time to sell out. And so I can't really justify ordering more. I'd probably just move on to new designs. Like I could still have a mushroom based design in the future, but it would be different. Um, baby. I don't want your fur all over this cloth, please. Excuse me, get down. No, Kiki, no, no. I say get down because she kind of knows what that means even though <laughs> it's more like get off. I'm sorry, I don't have any. I'm a little baby. I'm a baby, I have no money. I can pay you in blocks. If it's a Twitch app, it goes night night sometimes. It bugs. We want Kiki fur. Do you know if there's a collector who has purchased every piece of art you've ever sold? I don't know. Like for prints, I'm sure there's someone out there. But for like every product, that'd be kind of rare because the very first, like the candy cane buns, I had only a hundred of them. Kiki fur is a $10 upcharge. <laughs> Now they're A plus grade. Hi, budding artist. Oh my goodness, that stretch. Kiki grading the pins now. Is that right, Kiki? Bunny dolls, either paper dolls or a little figurine would be so cute. Purchased every sketchbook. Hey, Art Adventure! My biggest claim to fame is owning an original art that I don't think was sold as a print. Wait, which one was that again? Enjoy the stream, guys. Have to finish my work. Remember to slay away. <laughs> See ya, Edgar. And hi, Anita. Oh, yeah, the vampire girl. Okay, yeah, that one was... Um, that one was a print, but it was a Patreon print. So only people who have it were people who are patrons for that month. I'm pretty sure that was a Patreon print. Hanging in my living room next to a Buffy the Vampire Slayer poster. When I think about that original, I think about how I brought it to that Halloween expo, which was like the worst convention I ever did. There was zero foot traffic. And I had some originals there and they were framed. And this lady came by and she was like, didn't trust me that it was an original. And so she made me take it out of the frame fully which is a pain in the butt because there's all like those little tabs to open. Plus, I don't want to get dust underneath the glass. And there's like no room to do it on my convention table. It was like, <laughs> such a pain in the booty. But I get it out and she sees it because she can see the marker through the back. She's like, oh, okay, yeah. And then she walks away. And I'm like, <laughs> you made me do all that and you weren't even <laughs> interested in it. Like not that she's obligated to buy it, but it was just such a pain in the ass to do. such a troll <laughs> like I wouldn't me personally as a shopper I wouldn't make the seller do that unless I was actually interested in it <laughs> I guess I had nothing better to do the convention was so dead 
Those pins look lovely, Bailey. It's inspirational how you always have new business ideas and impressive work ethic. Thank you. I won in the end because I loved that art. <laughs> now I want to see the vampire girl picture. I would have slapped her since you said that. Maybe her name was Karen. <laughs> Cause yeah, if I was if I was gonna purchase the original, I too would want proof that it's their original, not a print. Cause if it's like a Copic illustration behind glass, you wouldn't know for sure it's an original. But <laughs> I kept meaning to ask if Christian quit his other job and works for you full now he does work for me full-time and does not work anywhere else because first he quit his corporate job and then got like a part-time job while doing some stuff for me and then once I was think because I was thinking about the embroidery stuff too and I was like if we do the embroidery ourselves like I need you like would you be willing to do that and he was like yeah oh my god this glove's getting like weird stainy. <laughs> BB. But then the place he was working at actually closed. So he, cause like the, at that point the plan was once the embroidery's up and running, he'll quit and do embroidery full time. But then that location closed. And so he had like a couple months, I think, with not really much to do. <laughs> a little vacay. Kicking. No. You either go on my back or over there. Poor Bibi. Kiki wants a straw. Kiki chaos time. I'm super jelly of the Wheel of Time books you bought him for his birthday. It was Christmas and yeah, this one is pricey. <laughs> For like no reason. But yeah, he's gonna have to make some kind of custom shelf for that to display them. Cause he has two bookcases, but it's too long for the bookcases. So he'll have to get something like some kind of little console table thing or mount some strong shelves <laughs> to the wall. I'm sorry I missed out on Daisy, but definitely need Ducky for... Are you talking about sketchbooks? There's no Ducky sketchbook. How have you found work-life balance working together full-time? Uh, it's pretty good. He works pretty standard hours. Like He'll do usually like a 10 to 5. And then my hours are kind of all over the place. <laughs> but he was already working from home with his like corporate job. He was already working from home since the pandemic. So we, we were already, like we knew it would work out him working from home because he'd been working from home for years. And so it was like, we knew it would work for us. And he's usually just in the embroidery room He'll, he emerges for like food or to vape, <laughs> but like we still have that separation. It's not like we're actively working together the whole time. So we might get sick of each other. <laughs> Although he does help me pack when I have a big shop up there. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. Smeemer, thank you for the membership. And Smeemer's also gifting five memberships. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I love the freebie sticker. The burb. Christian is the housewife I always wanted to be. <laughs> I mean, he still works, but for me. Although so far today, he's not working. I gotta get him these pins. 
I'm also making him, because we're in that like embroidery in between, I'm also making him detail my car. <laughs> Although not today, because of the snow dumping. Maybe next week he'll do it. Because even the new sweaters that just came in today, it will take him maybe like a week tops to stitch those out. The straws. And then I gotta get him some new stuff. So I'm gonna digitize the next thing ASAP. So I have like the next t-shirt, the first t-shirt design made, but I have to digitize it and order it in the blanks and stuff and the thread. Uh, my latest can sew order is taking so long to come here. Like we're pretty much at the three week mark since I placed the order. So I think it was a Thursday. So like as of tomorrow, it'll be three weeks. I'm gonna get a tracking number from them. I'm like, did they even send it? Because last time it didn't take that long to come. <gasps> oh, wait, they didn't send me a proof for the planner pads. But they can, They said it's now in production. That's okay. They emailed me last night. Because I ordered some planner pads. And then they emailed me being like, we we glue on the short edge by default. Let me know if that's okay. And I was like, no, glue them on the long edge. And I'll, I'll pay more if I need to. And then they replied back being like, okay, we can do that. No extra charge. And I'm like, ooh, okay. Because usually when I place the planner pad orders, I was ordering so many that I had to get a custom quote. And so I just would specify glue on long edge. But with this latest one, I just ordered it through their website. And so. I should have checked if there was a, an add notes, order notes thing. Could have specified there. Was it easy to agree on a salary? <laughs> I mean, we didn't really agree. I think I, I don't even remember discussing it to be honest. I don't remember what we said, but I gave him like his part-time salary when he started part-time for me and then I never increased it. <laughs> So he still has his part-time salary, but I'll look at the financials around summertime and then increase it. Cause like for the 2023 business year, I spent more money than I made for the business. I mean, a good, a, a lot of that expenditure was our salaries, but I was like, I can't afford to increase your salary <laughs> at the moment, but I'm sure this year will be better. Although I did buy another embroidery machine. So, cause I guess the, I bought the second one last year, but my business year ended September 30th. So that was technically the next business year, the second machine. But the sweatshirts are selling really well. So I will probably be okay to do that increase later this year. <laughs> It's funny it takes longer for orders from Canada than the US. Well, the thread from the US, they did send express. And then the What's thread I'm ordering from Can, so it's a special order, so it has to I come in from somewhere else. On deck. And I don't know if that means it ships to them and then to me, or if they're just getting it shipped direct to me, but it's like something. It's something. Oh yeah, but what I, I was gonna say more about that. That comment reminded me, but I'll read this first. Deb, thank you for the 37 months. My how time flies. I found you through your Diamond Art Club on deck. <laughs> Wait, that's actually a very interesting way to find me. Like not even through the diamond painting videos, but from Diamond Art Club specifically. I love that. <laughs> so anyway, this thread order is taking so long to come in. Luckily it's just colors for the Luna Moth which we're not even doing more Luna Moths right now anyway, but Christian was getting really low, so I ordered more. But we're not gonna need that for a while because we've, we got a lot of Luna Moth in stock. But like, I'm gonna have to order thread for the t-shirts and I'm gonna need it to come quickly. Same if I do like a sleeve design for a zip up. And so this is taking too long. 
So now I'm thinking, because someone also commented this. I just saw a comment about it this morning, and that's what's making me also think. Because someone's like, oh, is there somewhere you can get Madeira just shipped to the U.S.? And the answer is yes, because I can either get it shipped to my sister, or I can use, like, I have a cross-border shipping thing. But the cross-border shipping is not cheap. But I might just try it out. <laughs> Order from directly from Madeira to my U.S. address and then get it forwarded from there to here. The forwarding shipping price would probably still be around $50 USD though, but it's better than paying 200 USD for the shipping, you know? So maybe I will try that. Cause that might be worth it price wise too. Cause like with Canso, I'm still, actually I don't even know what the shipping fee was last time. They gave me a total that included the cost of the thread and the shipping. I'm sure I could math it out, but it's still like 50 bucks, but the thread is more expensive on Canso compared to direct with Madeira. So yeah, the thing about shipping it to my sister is I don't want to make her do that all the time. So that's why I like make her go to the post office all the time to forward it to me. So that's why I might just use the reship service to save her the hassle. Your nails are so pretty. Love the shade. Purple for spring. Thank you. I love this green too. The only thing I don't like about it is it brings out the redness of my fingers because they're, you know, complementary colors. But the sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday was so cute. My Coco Natasha sweatshirt, the dusty pink, it just looked so good with this. I kept getting glimpses of my hands and I was like, oh. <laughs> hey, she wolf. Everyone buy more stuff so Christian gets a raise. We have to fund Christian's raise. <laughs> The first video I watched from you was a diamond painting and I got hooked. Yeah, those, my diamond painting videos got a lot of views. Part of me is like, should I start a diamond painting channel? And then I'm like, when are you going to have time to work on them? <laughs> Stupid idea. Okay. <laughs> this is taking me forever. had a heart attack at that shipping <laughs> at least the 200 usd shipping from madeira did include the customs i think actually oh, wait no maybe it didn't because i noticed ups has access to my bank account they just debit the shipping directly from my bank account i think or the customs because i did see a ups fee I was going through my credit card stuff. I'm trying to do my accounting like more frequently through my bookkeeping throughout the year. <laughs> and I was like, huh, UPS just took money out of my bank account. <laughs> but then I was trying to think of what order that might've been. Cause sometimes I get an email being like, you owe customs, pay it here. I thought I smelled some chemical smell. You'd be able to bulk order as well. Sleeps for the week, do more diamond painting. <laughs> the Michael Jackson glove has come out. Vitiligo twenty twinsies. Although I don't have it on my hand. Although I've got kind of reverse vitiligo. <laughs> I got some hyperpigmentation on this wrist. I think it was Jesus in a past life. I think this is like crucifixion scars. The J in my middle name stands for Jesus. <laughs> His mic keeps clinking on the table. Maybe I should make it a little higher. I'm, or maybe I should just have better posture. Bailey's a smooth criminal. Hey Claire, we're doing well. 
when Bailey did the subscriber mystery boxes, that was my favorite video type. Yeah, a lot of people seem to like those. People still bring it up to this day as you just did. <laughs> Bailey, hee <laughs> hee. Not the stigmata. <laughs> Because isn't there like some debate as to whether it would have been through the hand versus through the wrist? So if it indeed, I think this is confirmation that it was through the wrist. Ugh. This has something on it. I think that's a B grade. It just looks... Wait, maybe that came off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I think that did come off. Okay, you can be an A grade. <laughs> oh, she returns. I am howling Jesus in a past life. <laughs> Bailey, are you okay? <laughs> Excuse me, I came to the stream to hear you talk about pins. I didn't sign up for a Jesus talk. Passion of the Christ film, it was through the hand. Jesus, excuse the pun, that film made me feel sorry for Jesus. Hi, Evelyn. Best pot flavor. Uh, I mean, I do love me the cranberry ginger ale. Diet cranberry ginger ale specifically. I mean, I'm sure they both taste as good, but I buy the diet kind. How many pins are those? Each bag is 100 for the Straubs, 50 for the Luna Moth. So this pile here is 100. This one had a similar, like, ick. She's becoming a Jehovah Witness via stream instead of door to door. <laughs> Skinny. <laughs> Passion of the Christ, Billy J. Cameo. Wait, is there a new Passion of the Christ coming out? Or did I dream that? <laughs> Did I see a troll post? How can there be a sequel? Okay, this is kind of weird up here. I'm going to make that a B grade. It's almost like the enamel's not flat. But like in a weird way. Like the buffing is not always perfect. But that one was just a little too much. How much will the pin sell for? The A grades are $10. B grades are $7.50. I have an ugly bruise on my arm from the blood test I had. Makes my braces look ugly. How did Jehovah's Witness come to my door for the first time ever back in November? They saw me look at them through the door and slowly back away. <laughs> That's what I've told myself I need to do. Because, like, we never really got door-to-door -door people in Vancouver. There was, like, nothing. But in here, it's probably because I also had a house in, like, the weirdest spot. Like, the place we rented in Vancouver was in a really weird spot. But here, it's, like, suburbs. So, 
We get salespeople coming door to door and it's like, go away. And what I want to start doing after my traumatic experience with that charity guy, <laughs> I am, I'm going to look through the window because we have like a long skinny window beside the door. I'm going to like, no shame. If I see someone out there who's a salesperson and we make eye contact, I'm just walking away. Like that charity guy, I was like, oh God, we made eye contact. Like I got to open the door and then I regretted it <laughs> so much. You have a Jehovah Witness story? Buckle your seatbelt, it's a doozy. Let's hear it. I continued to watch them through a window and they lingered for a few more minutes till they just left a paper in the door. They probably stayed away in Vancouver because of the brothel. <laughs> but it was a sneaky brothel, okay? No one probably even knew it was there. I mean, my dad figured it out the first night he stayed there. Because <laughs> the room that looks out to it used to be the spare bedroom. The one that was my upstairs art room. That was originally the spare bedroom. My dad's like, I think that's a brothel. And I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and then when they installed the red light, I looked into it more and tried to find out. And it was one. It still is, probably. Oh, the fox den. If someone knocks on your door trying to sell you something, take them downstairs till they buy planner pads and sketchbooks. I wouldn't want them in my house, but maybe I can have some stuff by the door. And be like, are you interested? Is it though? <laughs> B plus. When the light hits it just right, there's a couple of like the diagonal streaks. Cause like the, the buffing is kind of diagonal, but there's a couple parts where it gets really deep. Well, not really deep, but. Like it literally looks perfect like this. And then I tilt it a little in the light and I see a couple little dents. In honor of employee brotherhood, I present to you a gift. That should probably be a grade. It's like, if I hold it this far away, I can't even see it. Oh my God, Robin, thank you for gifting 10 memberships. Hey, Art, I say. My mom put a red light bulb on her porch light for Christmas. After the Christmas decorations were taken down, the light was still there. And I was like, Mom, we look like a brothel. I was 14. I was like 14, rebellious teenager phase. I knew that I didn't believe in religion. But you know how happy to debate used to love them. So one day, two Jehovah Witnesses turn up. I didn't know they were Jehovah's Witness. I opened the door and got this leaflet about Jesus and death and we are coming back. To be honest, it was kind of interesting. They said we can come back next week to discuss and I was like, fuck yeah, go on there. I wrote down notes ready for my debate. They never showed up again. I was ghosted by Jehovah's Witness. Never got over that <laughs> emotionally scarred. <laughs> All that time spent prepping. What, Gigi? Mummy's working. Some of us have jobs, Gigi. Some of us aren't furry freeloaders. I was napping a few weeks ago and tell us door to door salesmen came by and my husband let them in and proceeded to yell 
to ask me a question and I was just so flabbergasted. Purchase one thing, you get to talk for five minutes. Spend a hundred, I make tea and now you can spiel for half an hour. <laughs> Kind of scuffed down there, and then there's that, like a scratch that goes across the enamel and a bit into the metal. Yeah, we've got three B grades so far. What do you have to check for it to pass quality check? I'm looking for imperfections. Like most pins have at least some degree of imperfection, but I'm looking for like noticeable scratches or sometimes the enamel isn't fully filled in in a spot. Oh, interesting. I usually don't get this with this manufacturer, but here there's like a blue dot. Like, I don't know what that is, but there's a bit of blue in there. That's pretty minor, but. It's kind of noticeable at the same time. I'll at least set it with the B grades and I can review it after. Hey, Mushi. And I don't check the backs. Like if there was an imperfection with the plating on the back, it doesn't really matter because it's the back. So yeah, scratches, underfilled enamel, or like colors in the wrong spot. Usually I don't have that. But the Luna Moth, I'm, I'm going to look a little closer because there's a lot of fine detail in the Luna Moth. It's probably more prone to flaws, but at the same time, maybe not. We'll see. A little corner kick. <laughs> Kiki approved pins. What do you think of this one, Kiki? Is it good? No comment. If it's a B grade, <laughs> if it's a B grade meow. What about this one? What about this one? She's just chilling. Oh my god, I never heard my cat fart. Do you mean until now? Or... I never heard them fart either, and I've never smelled a fart. They're fart free, as far as I know. The way she lifts her head up to my kiss. So cute. Had edamame spaghetti for the first time, it was honestly pretty yummy. I've never heard of that combo before does sound good so is the is it like whole edamame beans or are they like pureed into a sauce or both like what's the sauce have them like collector's coins that were printed wrong sell them for more money <laughs> i know i would feel so bad though it's reverse we sell them for a discount She wants to do what mommy's doing. I think she wants pets. She's been extra bad about wanting pets at nighttime when I'm trying to sleep. So I'm trying to like not give her a single pet that has like a really noticeable scratch in the middle of the straw and it's long. <laughs> the song, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, every time I see myself in the camera, I want to like fix my bangs because they're not hanging nicely. There's like this little piece that separates from the rest. Driving me nuts. Maybe I shouldn't look at myself. <laughs> it's worse now. What have I done? <laughs> my old 
cat was made of farts. Waiting like a crazy person for the pin restock about to go crazy this shop update. <laughs> My fiance kept moaning moaning the edamame snacks from Family Mart stank, but they didn't smell to me. They tasted good. It's made out of pure edamame and rice flour, so very healthy for you. Oh. Oh, she put a paw on my arm. No two paws. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm like, should I turn on the side camera just to show this? God, just this with one hand. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, wait, I shouldn't pet you with the cloth. There, because you're going to get full of fur. Your cat does that, sweet baby. Good night, no one. When's the next game stream? Probably early April. I'll have to get it in before the shop update. <laughs> Unless I just have the urge to do one before that. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. <laughs> I've hardly touched Fall Guys. Oh, but also I couldn't play it when I was on vacay. Because the internet wasn't good enough. Are you sniffing my pit? <laughs> Are you going under this? Is this like a little... Oh, baby. She can't be a little menace. Look at that baby. <laughs> yeah. She has a little bit of fur missing from her eyebrow. Not like these bald, big bald spots, but like an extra little bit on this brow. Because I think when she's fighting with me, noosh, like they pluck each other's fur out when they fight. And she wasn't missing a brow, and then she was suddenly missing some brow after I heard them spat, spatting, wrestling. Was your eyebrow waxed? Yes. Are you a sucky baby? Alright, I have to go back to grading these pins. I'm almost through this pile, then I can give them to daddy. Yes. She will want pets for at least 20 minutes straight, so I can't... I just can't kick you. We got stiff to do. There's definitely some color coming off of these pins onto these gloves. It could be plating fluid. Because when they get plated, they essentially get dunked in liquid. <laughs> Kiki wiki. What breed of cats are they? Domestic short hair. So, cat. <laughs> the two chihuahuas had a fight. One almost ended up with one eye less. Okay, no. No, Kiki. Hi, Al. Al Hemi Parker. Little tiny feet. <laughs> Look at your leggies. She's so beautiful. I'm so jealous. Wish I wasn't allergic to kitties. She's on the microphone. Sorry if you can't hear me. Covered by a keek. Covered by a keek. Uh, 
Okay, let's burn through these because then I'm going to grade some little moths and pin them because these straws are for Christian to do. It's kind of B plus almost, but. This one looks like it has a lot of scratching. I'll make that B grade. <sighs> this one has a scratch on the bottom of the red straw. It's not super noticeable. Like it's not super long, I mean, but it is noticeable. I don't have that many B grades from the last bag. There were like three. So I'm like, just make it a B grade. Okay, there's fur on my gloves. I need the lint roller. Love the Kiki purse. Oh, could you hear it? I couldn't even hear Kiki purse. Bubby. Have you guys seen those YouTube videos of cats and dogs with speech buttons? Oh god, I hate those. I hate those videos. <laughs> I'm a hater. I'm a pet button, speech button hater. I feel like we don't see the videos of all the times it doesn't really make sense. Like the ones when they string multiple buttons together, I'm like, I don't believe it. But obviously it's easy to learn that, oh, if I press this button, I get pets. Or if I press this button, I get let outside. Like, that's fine. But I feel like they'll push multiple buttons and then the owner tries to decipher what it means. And I'm just like, just stop. First time I caught a stream, the pins are gorgeous, and Kiki's adorable, your hair looks great, thank you. <laughs> You're also a hater. <laughs> Speech button pets are creepy. I've been back playing Animal Crossing, which I restarted, restarted my island. Also heard they might be bringing GameCube to Switch. Wait, like all the GameCube games? Emulated? Okay, that's scratched up. I don't know what videos you're talking about, but my childhood dog learned to ring the back doorbell when she wanted to be let in. It's like a bunch of buttons on the floor and like when a button is pressed, a voice comes through. Like one voice might be like, I love you, or another button might be food. So like the dog will push the button and be like, food, food, food. <laughs> Okay, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight B grades, which is fine. I feel like I usually have 10% or less under normal circumstances. Little duckies was the anomaly. And the fact that we had three last time, that's like 
an average of just over five. That's pretty good. Let's see, these are all going to Christian. I've got his supplies up there already. So many. I bet my mom's cat Brianna May would love those buttons. She loves all things tech. She figured out how to use the DVD player. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, I'm actually will be pinning some of these right away. I'm gonna pin these B grades onto their backing cards. Christian's gonna get the A grades. So let's run this up to him. Oh, it's heavy. while walking up the stairs. Uh, I have a present for you, Christian. Oh, yeah. This is just under 200, like 189. So, yeah, you've got your straw cards. There's more here. Just pin them in the middle. They can be a little on the high side so you see the Bailey J at the bottom, but I kind of based this how centered it is off the leaves because it's an asymmetrical design. Okay, so the leaves are more centered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And these are all A grades. Yeah. And these bins are just to put them in. Yeah. And then the tape, when you sleeve them, it's just like, because you'll fold it over the card and then whatever's left just across. Okay. Yeah. And when you fold them over, give them kind of like a crease. Don't just leave them loose. Okay. All right, about it. Here's your clutch remover. Here's your little cow belt. I think it's everything you need. Thank you. Mushy baby. Mushy, mushy baby. Okay. Don't tickle my butt on live stream. No one would have known if you didn't say it out loud. Wait, I'm gonna grab a jube jube. I have the Jubilee Auditorium jube jubes. Cause I was at the Jubilee last night for the production of hairspray. It's really good. Creeper in the corner. Kiki holding down the fort. <laughs> Tickle butt. <laughs> Every time I write something out, my shyness hits and I delete it. Oh no. What do we think of the Oscars this year? Still kind of weirded out by John Cena basically being naked. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't see anything about the Oscars. Wait, maybe I should watch now. Now that I have additional information. <laughs> Even though you pay him and he's your employee, do you ever feel guilty having him do things? A little bit, depending what it is. But I only feel guilty when I make him do all the heavy lifting. Like that time he brought in all the notepad boxes by himself. Like I didn't even help, I was live streaming or something. Same as the sketchbooks, he brought all the sketchbooks in from the garage. Okay, this cloth. I'm just trying to have something to cushion this so when I set it down it's not like clunk clunk. 
that my sleeve is catching the edge of the fabric. Butt tickles, now I gotta give him that raise. And I'm gonna report him to HR. <laughs> Where is HR? I'm uncomfy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fact that John Cena is being recognized as an actor at all makes me vaguely nauseous. Has he acted in things? Amanda says, why do naked people weird you out? It's just a body. It was a statement about how costuming is so important. I say, show me the naked. <laughs> There's a murder on the dance floor. He was a Ken for one thing, right. Cause I'm like, I feel like I've seen him in some things, but I can't remember. Was he in anything else? <laughs> he acts when he wrestles, that's true. <laughs> Wrestling is acting. Wrestling's basically a soap opera. Suicide Squad and a couple others. the cap built. It's like a thick honeycomb cardboard. And some of these. I accidentally cut one of these up, which practically made me scream because I was, I have exactly 500 of these and I have 500 pins. And I thought what I had set aside was a small pile of the end, like, there's always an end piece on both ends of this. And so I had pulled them out and I thought that that was the stack of end pieces, but it was actually just like four leftover straw cards from yesterday. So I only saw the back side of it and I start cutting into it to make a label. And then once I make the cut, the piece flips over and I see it's one of these and I was like, no, cause I have exactly 500. So I just kept going cause I'd already cut it. <laughs> I made these A labels and then I was like, wait, I don't really need to label the A grade bins. I only need to label the B grade bins. So, anyway. <gasps> yes, Sue! <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Yatsu. Welcome, raiders. I did a double take when I saw him as a Ken doll. I was like, WTF is that John Cena made me lol. He acted when he said he wanted to marry Nikki Bella. Wait, I don't know this tea, but. I like to do this on this side because I think I don't like reaching around the cardboard with my left hand. But then I set them on this side. Like I should have these over here and then the finished ones over here. You know what I'm saying? But I've always done it the other side. But it doesn't make sense to flip it here and then move it over there. Like I should just have these on this side and the pinned ones on this side. I loved the Fred movie, can't even lie. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like 10 years old? I forgot about it. Wait, how did we get on Fred movie? Was John Cena in that? Now the Oscars has become unhinged assaults. Will Smith last year and borderline only fans, John Cena naked.
I hope the Will Smith thing was the year before, but I don't know. The years bleed together and the award shows bleed together. I feel like I mostly heard about the Golden Globes this year. So then the Oscars, when I heard it was coming up or something, or like, I think I realized it was happening the day of cause I saw something trending on Twitter and I was like, oh, Oscars are tonight. And I was like, didn't that already happen? And then I was like, no, I'm thinking Golden Globes. I just feel like there was so much talk around the Golden Globes, at least that I saw. TikTok algo or something. <laughs> I can give you an A if he does a good job. You get a sticker, but it's not sticky. Howls in greeting to the Raiders. Ow! John Cena was Fred's dad. Oh, in the movie, okay. They meant in real life. But then you said was, and I was like, wait. Movie. Oh yeah, and there, I remember seeing a lot about the Grammys too. You're right, Jimmy. Actually, I might've heard more about the Grammys than Golden Globes, but I remember some Golden Globe stuff specifically. Ugh. Award season. Do you have any advice for someone just getting started in art and drawing? Do lots of studies, lots of art from reference. Don't just rely on imagination. I love, love the backing cards. Thanks. It's like a straw pattern, but I lowered the opacity a bit so that it doesn't draw too much attention. Same with the Luna Moths, but I feel like the strawberry one looks better. Same thing where it's the pattern. Although this pattern only had the front view. It might, it probably would look better if it had side view Luna Moth, but at the time I don't think I had drawn it yet when I made the pattern. Cause I think I made this pattern for the sketchbook um, end papers. So I don't think I had drawn side view Luna Moth yet at that point. Plus this graphic is like the digital version of the Luna Moth, I think. That's not the scan of the original art. So that I think matches the end paper of the straw, but let me see. <clears throat> but lowered opacity. It's a little different. This is more red and this is more brownish. But isn't that cute? This was supposed to be darker thread. But they didn't, I think they were had already started embroidering and didn't want to change it. Cause I was like, that's supposed to be a darker red. They're like, this matches what you gave us. And I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Not at all. It's supposed to be dark. But it still looks cute. It just doesn't really match. And it's on the back. And then with Luna Moth and the Halloween one, I was like, can you give me a catalog of thread colors to choose from? They're like, no. <laughs> They're like, no, we're gonna match it. We'll just match the closest color. And I was like, after the strawberry one, I was like, I don't know if I trust. Are you getting the Princess Peach game tomorrow? I don't even know what game we're talking about, but I don't think so. When are these dropping on the shop? On Tuesday, April 9th, which is a little ways away, but I ordered some more last minute stuff, which is pushing the update back a bit. I'm so glad you said draw from reference. Can't draw from imagination. Always thought I was cheating, but now feel more confident. 
Yeah, and it's not like that everything necessarily needs to be from reference, but it's at least useful, like, like even if I'm doing something that I'm making up, I might still look at reference to get an idea of how it should look, even if I'm modifying it to be my own thing. Like, even with these strawberries, I looked up pictures of strawberries. This isn't exactly taken from a picture of a strawberry at all, but it's like based, you know, I wanted the leaves to look like how strawberry leaves look and to see what strawberry flowers looked like. So all that stuff is good, but also directly copying from reference is really good practice. And if you're someone who does realism, then that's even do it as not practice. <laughs> I edited a few more product pictures, but now I'm gonna head to bed. Intense morning tomorrow, so I better get some sleep. It was fun watching though. Good night, JM. I hope tomorrow goes okay. <laughs> sure, we'll match it. I wouldn't trust either, but at least it came out cute. Will you make more embroidered sketchbooks in the future? Yeah, I have some ordered right now. I have yet to receive embroidery photos because it kind of takes a while because it's like, the place I get the books made, they work with a place that does the embroidery because they don't do embroidery themselves. And so it's like a whole process. So I've selected the fabric based on photos of fabric swatches. Usually I just let them pick a color, but I wanted to see. But again, I'm just picking from a photo. Like who knows what it's actually going to look like. And so I'm just waiting for the embroidery samples to come in, which takes a while for some reason. I mean, there was also Lunar New Year, so Chinese New Year. Hoping this year I'll get into digital art, saving up for the new Samsung, Samsung Table Ultra. Would you ever consider doing another reacting to old videos video, like maybe on a vlog light week or if you go on a family trip and don't want to vlog it? It would have to be something I never reacted to. Cause like, I've also had like those live streams. Sometimes with the gaming streams, I will open up old video folders and look at some stuff. So I feel like I would only be reacting to stuff I've recently reacted to. Or like even my last reaction video doesn't feel like it was that long ago, even though it kind of was. But at the same time, five years is not really that much to warrant the feeling of seeing it again for the first time, you know? Like, I'm a little more familiar with my old videos than I was before because I've already reacted to them. I'd have to find something else to react to. But, oh my god, wait, wait, where did I? Those videos I found, I don't know if that made it into a vlog or not, but it was like... Like the carpet sucking videos and then the family dinner. It was really awkward. <laughs> oh, I'm covering the mic, sorry! It's a little low, isn't it? I'm not used to it being that low, but I'm trying to have it not too close to my mouth because then it's like... But anyway, I had, I was saying I have that video where there was like really old clips from before I vlogged and that was like, I don't even know if I was doing the, I forget the year. It might've been before I was even doing YouTube, but I would film stuff on my camera. It's really cringe. <laughs> They're also really old. Baby Bay. I don't even remember where that, where in my folders those videos were, but I came across some when I was doing the, the 10 year montage. Oh, it was probably on external hard drive. Gonna take a nap. See you, Elena. Is that a bruise? No, that's just hyperpigmentation. That's a been there as long as I can remember. But not a birthmark, I don't think. I've got patches of white skin, I've got patches of dark skin, and 
then they're <laughs> the default. <laughs> My body can't decide. At some point, I thought my ears were starting to pop. You have those on your feet. I have some dark, like small dark spots on my feet that are like inside the vitiligo patch. It's almost like it sucked the pigment from the area and just like. <laughs> it sucked it all into the middle to make these dark dots surrounded by white. My whole body's a white spot. <laughs> Andrea's back. Sometimes I forget you participated in some of the mid-2010 YouTube trends, like the Twitter Q&A and Draw My Life. <laughs> okay. Let's leave these. I thought Christian was pinning these. These are just the B grades. I gave him the A grades. Wait, I need to grab some of the sleeves because I gave him all the sleeves. I need to go dig some out of a box. Here we go. Ugh. For the Luna moths that I'm about to do, I will be <laughs> sleeving them myself. Hopefully Christian's not too fast. I'm kind of slow because I'm streaming. I'm reading chat and stuff. <laughs> I have a Lego in a lot of my joints and I love playing what shape or creature is this? Mine are like not really joints. Oh god. I'm trying to push this table forward because I feel like maybe I should just try to pull the camera out this way. Hello, crotch. I'm trying to get the camera to, to view the edge of the table because I feel like I'm consistently too low. somewhat symmetrical but not perfectly like on my my mid back has a lot of spots but then there's also like an upper back one on both sides too and then my shins have huge patches and then both feet have it but one side is way bigger than the other and then what's not symmetrical is the underarm one here there's like two spots there, but then also my neck, cause there's one on one side of my neck, but not the other, but there's one on the other side of my chin, which you can't really see anymore. I feel like it's somewhat repigmented, but maybe that was supposed to be this, the opposite side. <laughs> it just didn't quite make it over to the other side. When did your vitiligo start? I was probably like grade two or so, two or three maybe. So it kind of like rapidly spread and then stopped and then I never really got new spots unless I like injured myself. And for a while I was doing phototherapy for it. So that was like grade 12 and then my first couple years of college because I stayed in Medicine Hat for my first two years of college. And so I'd go three times a week to the dermatologist to stand in this thing that's like kind of like a standing tanning bed, but with specific wavelengths of UV rays or something. And I'd have to take these pills ahead of time that made my skin sensitive to the more sensitive to the light. And it definitely changed my vitiligo and I think it made certain spots change or like fade but it's for the most part still there. But it definitely had some effects. Some of them kind of went away. And they're not as noticeable now because one, one, I'm stopped at the therapy so I'm not as tan as I used to be, but also I just don't go outside as much. Like I used to go camping all the time and 
we lived on a farm. Like, I was just outside a lot more. Now I'm so pale, you don't really see it so much. I discovered you about a month ago, and I'm a huge fan of your art and vlogs. I watch every video since 2022. Can't wait to buy from your site soon from Quebec City. Hey, Coco! <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Okay, wait, I need a B grade. Oh yeah, this was gonna be my B grade thing. Right. Oh yeah, and I also wrote B on it. Oh, and I wanna tape them. So usually I just leave the flap, but lately I've been wanting to tape them shut. So. So hold on, we got a few more things to do. Was that expensive? Uh, it didn't cost anything. And then I think the prescription for the pills was covered by my mom's insurance. And then the dermatologist stuff didn't cost anything. Canadian healthcare. Although kind of in hindsight, I'm curious that was covered. Cause that's just like a cosmetic thing, really. Forgot you live in Canada. <laughs> I'm in Texas. People can't understand why I'm still pale in August when it's over 100 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Love your nails. I just bought the exact same green shade for nails. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hola, bitches. Hi, kitty. I was waiting to share some news till you got here, kitty. Starting a new job in April. Hey, congratulations. Have mixed feelings, because on one hand, money. On the other hand, having to go to work. <laughs> I interviewed a Canadian children's hospital thinking about moving there, and they said they still paper charted the ED, and I said, oh, never mind. So, like, customer charts are on paper? Is that... that huh? Or customer patient. <laughs> well, also customers, I guess, but <laughs> Hola, I am bitch, says <laughs> Joe. Can you do cross stitch on your machine? Just curious. Honestly, I probably could do a simulated cross stitch. Ooh. Well, no. Well maybe. I'm wondering if there's like a setting specifically for that in the software, cause it'd be more of a software thing. Cause it would have to backtrack on some of the X's, you know? Like it would have to go to the center of the X to do the other direction, or it could like, I don't, yeah, I don't know how it would do that. It would have to definitely travel over itself. So it'd probably look uneven. Unless it stitches an X, trims, like it stitches one line and then trims and then does the other line in trims, but that would take so long. And you'd probably have a lot of unthreading happening, like thread breaks for having such small stitches. So maybe it's not super doable, but... No. Hello everyone, been a while since I've been here. I've changed Twitch names a few times, but hope all is well with everyone. Hi, Chamber B. Now I'm like, who are you? Who are you? I'm gonna move this up a bit. I don't know if that was really that much of a difference. When will the post-its be available to buy? April 9th. I'm ordering some other ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for those to come in. So you'll have a choice between the two. Kiki, no. Like same designs, but official Post-it brand ones. Ah, you're a mole sketches, then hex mole, now chamber bee. 
just prefer mole to be honest. But mole's not in your name anymore. If you were Chamber Mole. <laughs> Cause now I'll probably just call you Chamber or B, you know. Otherwise it's too much to remember. <laughs> Janet? Marty? Who are you people? Me to Chamber B. Who are you people? Kiki, no. No. No, get down. No. No. Poor little thing. Now these are in packs of 50 for the Luna Moths. Is this one of the 50 or is this a separate one? That was separate. I was gonna say, I don't remember opening one of those. I probably grabbed from the side when I was doing my thumbnail picture. Okay. Bailey, are potatoes gay? Asking for a friend. I feel like potatoes are pan because they have, they can be used in many ways. It's a very versatile food. <laughs> hey, Danielle. <laughs> true, true. Hi, Marsbit. I'm eyeing up everything. I get paid soon, so I shall be here patiently waiting to purchase. Aw, thank you. Excellent answer. <laughs> I am a pan potato, is true, can confirm. They go with everything, surely, yeah. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Used, yeah, I know, I was like, <laughs> I was trying to find a different wording. <laughs> Use potatoes responsibly. <laughs> Let's try to get a close up. I might have to turn this light off though. <sighs> glitter, 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 glitter. Pink, pink, pink. Look at all the little details. Look at all that purple. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's. Oh. There's the skinny white and then there's skinny purple on the other side of it. So many little details. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for areas filled in with the wrong color. <laughs> Potatoes are vodka, right? <gasps> and vodka is like the, the, the liquor that goes with everything. I want to bite it. Sparkly. Can't wait to have one. <laughs> Yay, Bailey. Hello, Karen. Hi, Scarlet. I want so cute. Can't wait for the update. Gonna be getting the Y Baby Y stuff for my friend and I. <laughs> I forgot to restock, like to reorder Y Baby Y when I placed my washi order. So I guess those that'll be restocked in the summer. But I still got sticker sheet, die cut sticker, and notepad. So Luna Moths have more B grades because of the tiny details? They, maybe. That's, that's what I would assume anyway. Plus sometimes glitter can be finicky. Like sometimes there's glitter contamination where there's like a big chunk of a different glitter type. So it'll be like a big dark dot. 
so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe the, the people who did these ones are just super professional. I don't know. Oops. Some places do machine filled pins. These could be machine filled, I don't know. Usually they're filled by hand, but I think the machine filling is a more recent invention. Well, obviously it would be more recent than manual, but I don't know how recent. Are you still collecting the weird ones? <laughs> yeah, I don't really get many of those, but I do. Where are my weird ones? <laughs> Sometimes if there's a really big weird defect, I keep it. But where did I put those? I mean, I do have a bin, like a product bin, where I just keep a couple, like one or two of each product. Maybe they're in there. Static. How was your trip to Palm Springs? Really good. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I mentioned it earlier. Oh. It was nice to get away and have some nice warm weather, just chill, hang with family. You ever find store prep a bit tedious? I love watching it, but can't imagine how much work you do. The enamel pins are definitely the most tedious thing. And I do get sick of it after like, after a few hundred pins, I'm like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Pinning them on their cards, not so bad. I like that part and sleeving it, but the quality checking part, it's tedious, especially if there's something wrong with it. Like the little duckies where I had to like clean them with a Mr. Clean Magic eraser. <laughs> I hated that. But when they're mostly A grades then it's good. Cause it also gets tiring on like the thumbs and stuff. Cause there's like rubbing them you know, like checking for flaws, I'm rubbing them and then you know, pinning them and putting these on. It's just kind of tough on the hands, but yeah. Cause these are definitely the thing that takes the most prep out of all the products I do. <laughs> Me wanting to save my brain. Nope, sorry, more merch to order, oh no. These pins look so pretty. Can't wait to add it to my Bailey J pin wall. Hmm. Why don't you leave them in the original baggie? Because I package them to look all cute. Plus I check for defects, which is harder to do through the plastic. But if I ever did another advent calendar, I would just leave them in the baggies. And I would just kind of like try to look for defects through it. And cause I sort them by like A grade and B grade, but for the advent calendar, I probably wouldn't. Unless there was something that was a bigger flaw, I would probably exclude it. But yeah. Plus then if they're smaller, it'll fit into an advent calendar easier. Cause I had such big doors for my advent calendars. The box was definitely too deep. I could have gone shallower in hindsight, but if you're trying to have an advent calendar door big enough to fit this card, big. This is a pretty wide pin though. <laughs> this is almost as wide as the card. I had to make it kind of big because it's like a small detail there, you know. Okay, that went by quickly because it was just 50. The Straubs had 100 per bag. These are just 50 per bag. Favorite product type to design? To design. Mm. Mm. The washies are always really fun. Making the little repeating pattern. The notepads are similar, but a little more annoying because I like there's so many repeats of each element. And <laughs> it gets kind of messy, but still fun. Yeah, maybe washi is the most fun to design. Okay, gonna start looking for flaws. That's really good. I feel like too with the glitter, you wouldn't notice a scratch as much as you would with a big solid color section. So I'm probably mostly gonna be looking to make sure 
the purple areas are filled in and the yellow areas correctly and like like I said glitter defects because sometimes there's big chunks of other glitter in there glitter contamination Ooh, I'm getting hungry I just had toast and a little yogurt cup and two jube jubes one on stream one before stream okay ooh, this this area there's an underfilled enamel piece like they didn't put enough green in there and I can see like the metal on the bottom or like something blue I don't know what that is but I noticed it right away If Bailey did an advent calendar, she'd probably give us all the defects. <laughs> Can't express so much. I love the duckies, the washi tape, and notepads. Just fill me with joy, and I've been meaning to get more. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Yeah, styrofoam. Oh my god, that one has an underfilled bottom area, too. It's like that same section. That better not be a common defect. Same place, but opposite side. Whoa, okay, this has a bunch of blue in this area. What is that? So we definitely are having more defects so far. Let me see if I can get this on camera to show you. But I have to go dim lighting, so it's like... <laughs> I don't know if it's really showing, but there's blue in this area. And then the other ones, the other two are like an underfilled enamel there. I know that probably looks so minor on camera. <laughs> and then this is the other ones on this side. It's close to the metal edge, but you see, it's like a bluish line. So this is a bag of 50. We already have three B grades and six A grades. I mean, I did anticipate this would have more B grades due to the nature of the pin with the detail in the glitter. This one kind of has two blue glitter spots. Ugh. I'm gonna put that as B grade for now and we'll see. Sometimes with the glitter spots like that, if I take an X-Acto knife and put the tip of the blade right on the glitter spot and twist, it comes out. And you've made a little pit in the surface of the pin, but you don't really see it because of the glitter. You know what I'm saying? It's something I could try. Maybe I should set that one aside then. And we got Kiki higher. Get out of there. I need the strawberry one for my bag. Conch, shall I order merch from Bailey? No, no, go wash up, BB. You're looking a little rough. Conch, I need sales. <laughs> I'm going cross-eyed looking at the purple section because the metal is reflective and so looking at that purple strip, it's like kind of hard to notice it. Hi, Twinkle Toe. Oh, Bailey. What, Tommy? Always watching your YouTube videos while I wash dishes. One of the highlights of my day, huh? <laughs> Makes the chores more enjoyable. Conch, did you miss me? Of course, dumbass. I got some pins back from Etsy that are like yours, but they have a magnet on them. Ooh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people have asked me about magnets, but doing an enamel magnet is actually something I'd be interested in.
<laughs> I guarantee you could call them all A grade and no one would challenge it. That's true. Especially with this manufacturer. That's why I'm like, if I did do another advent calendar, I probably could grade them through the through the plastic baggie if I was going to leave them in the plastic baggie, you know, which I would for an advent calendar because this is just too much work. <laughs> There's one tiny blue glitter thing, which I, I would just count this as an A grade, but if I'm gonna try to dig those out, I might just put it there. But what if I like muck it up and then it's not A grade anymore? I mean, I can use the other one as the guinea pig and then like the one with two glitter dots as the guinea pig. <laughs> if it goes poorly, then the other one can just go straight to the A grade bin. I don't know. I mean, if you want that box, I'll take the sleeves out. Although you're sitting on some of them. We don't need your kiki anus on here. Okay, now come over here. No, no, not that bin. Come here. You can go in the box now. Oh dear, little piggy. She's like, no, I wanted the crinkles. That's a good girl. Oh dear. Is that a nice spot? Okay. No, no. Her little pathetic paw. <laughs> North Star. <laughs> Kiki's black hole. It ain't black. Ooh, good girl, Kiki. We're getting a lot of A grades now. We have three B grades and then two more that are potential B grades. I should grab my exacto knife. Oh, this has a, that same underfilled little area as the other ones did. Like the green is underfilled, but then the clear they put on top is filled in. So it's not like a dip, but the green part, I guess, dips. <laughs> How come when Kiki is stubborn, it's cute, but when my cat is stubborn, she's an aggravating jerk? Because I guess with Kiki, you're just watching through a screen. Okay, this has a, a bit of dirt in the white area. Oh, and then there's a couple glitter things here. Okay, I was going to say if it's just that, that would piss me off because I wouldn't want to make that an A grade, but it's so minor. But there's another thing too, so okay, good. <laughs> Now I feel comfortable making it a B grade, you know? It's the in-between ones I don't like. Okay, this has one of those big blue glitters. <laughs> Playing Halo tomorrow, gonna be killing people, gonna be a super fun night. <laughs> Try to dig on a B right one. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm tempted to do it right now, but I'm like, maybe at least get through these 50 and then I'll do it.
Mm, got a, a glitter I want to try digging out. <laughs> I feel like the camera is just not doing these justice, but also yours, it's pretty zoomed out. <laughs> where it's like B plus, but it's also, like it's small, but it's really noticeable. Okay. Last one. Mm. There's a tiny blue glitter, but that's, Probably not really worth digging out. Well, there's another one over here. Uh, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how the this goes. Okay. Knife! <sighs> Where are you? Wait, the knife might already be on the table. I've got some tools up here. I used it recently though. Like it's not in its usual spot. Oh, it is. It's just tucked into the side. Icky. Oh, and then here's another knife. Okay. But also, where's the, the lid for this one? I think I, have I thought I had two of these silver ones. So maybe the other one is lurking around here. This one's just in the drawer with no lid. Depends how deep it is. Oh. Yeah, I think that worked. So it does create a pit in this, but like you don't see the pit because it's a glittered section. Like this technique would not work on the white area. But sometimes you try to do stuff like this and you just make it look worse and you should have just left it. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Wait, Wait where did it go? <laughs> it's working so well I can hardly see it. There's a bit of blue in there still. Now when the light hits it just right, you can kind of tell the pits there, but it's hard to see and definitely less noticeable than the blue glitter piece was. Okay. Okay, this is the one with one blue dot over here. How are the workouts going? Good, good. That walking pad is the goat. That's like mostly what I do now because I get nice and sweaty on it. Oh, gorge. A gorgeous gouge. The pins are gorgeous. I've been on a spending bender mania, so I'll absolutely be purchasing one or two or five. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one I just had. So there's like one right by the metal. Oh God, my hand's shaking. Gorgeous. Now this one, I don't even know if I want to try. It's so small and deep. Well, it looks deep. Eh, I'll try it. Because it does annoy me. It's a smaller sparkle, but... The pit I dug is kind of more noticeable on this one. 
I think I just made this from a B to a B plus. I mean, it was kind of already B plus. Now it's an A minus. Because <laughs> I did have to go a little deeper for that one. It's like a white. It, if I can make the hole look not white. It, Cause that looks like there's a white glitter there. So the side one was a great success. This one, not so much. But it still looks better than the dark blue. But see, now I'm mad because like it's still good. Like it's, I improved it, but I... <laughs> I don't know. It's like in that weird in-between where it's like, should it be a B grade? Probably not, but like, I'm just setting it aside. Sometimes I set those aside and they just like never get sold. <laughs> so I'm like, you could have made it a B grade and actually made money off of it. Instead, you set it aside and nothing happens. Not really ruining all her pins. Oh, perfect. I could tell that one was a little more shallow, so I didn't have to put much pressure on that at all. Okay. I mean, that does look pretty good. I'm still just going to leave it off to the side. Maybe I'll pin that to like a jacket or something. <laughs> and then these ones are definitely B grades. They're not glitter. But yeah, that strategy worked really well. How fast do you type from the clips over the years? It seems very speedy. I don't know my words per minute. And it depends. Sometimes my nails are too long and they interfere. <laughs> hey, hey! Was that the first flash of the offline camera offline screen? <laughs> A ghost. Hi, Rachel. So those ones I had, I was using the blade for, there was like a big blue glitter in there. And I was digging out the big blue glitter, which technically leaves a small pit in the pin, but it's not noticeable on the glitter areas at all. It looks much better without the blue thing there. But that technique does not work on flat color areas. It's like you'll really see the pin <laughs> if it's flat color without glitter. But the one, this one, I had to dig a little deeper to get it. And so I, and now it looks like there's a piece of white glitter there instead of blue glitter. Really, this is not noticeable. Like if this was any other defect, like a similar defect I would be like oh that's an A grade but then I'm all like because I made that pit I'm like <laughs> I'm just conflicted so two four six B grades and then the one I set aside mm -hmm. I was just gonna count the B grades to get my inventory numbers but that messes with things although what if I grab one of these there's like a little bag of extras just replace it so that I still have 50. So I can still do the inventory by just counting the B grades. Yeah, that's A grade. Okay. And you will set off to the side. Okay. When you touched a wire or something, it played a random, and it played a random broadcast in a different language. Yeah. My body was acting as an antenna and there was a Chinese radio station coming through. My body is a key cussy, a double pussy. <laughs> Perception. There's a puss in a puss. I need to chill on these messages, my bad. I'm gonna take a walk. Hey, you're good. You're not chatting too much. 
These pins are gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I am actually going to pin these ones. I'm not going to hand them off to Ch. Oh, yeah, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> we will eat a banana. And I also kind of want to take an Advil. I have like a slight headache. Not much, but... Read my last message. Oh, do you remember when I said I came into the Kikusi? <laughs> yes. I was thinking about that the other day. <laughs> Hi, Evie. Okay, I'm gonna grab the banana and... Oh! Look. Do you like laying on that bag, that tote bag? Mm -hmm. It's just another kiki bed. Yeah. I'll just leave the camera on this view, actually. I will have to take the mic off when I pee, because I'm going to pee too, but I'll still take you up for... And I grabbed the banana. <laughs> Christian! Where's Perry? <laughs> Christian, you better have those bells jingled. <laughs> I was waiting for the sound bite to come through. Okay, mic off. I pee now. For a banana. I haven't had a single banana since we bought these. And I was so excited to have bananas again. And I didn't eat any, although we just bought them on Sunday. <laughs> I need more! This is the second last banana. Mm. Snow's really coming down. I don't really mean Why? to be rude, but you look like garbage rats. You look <laughs> like you cut out a sewer and the infestation, and you look like garbage. I wonder which days forecast have the most snow. I should check. Because it's forecast to snow all week to like through Sunday or something. It started last night. Like what? We were had spring. Spring was sprung. Spring had sprung, and now winter's back. <laughs> In goes, just like I thought. First the fleshy bit, it sticks. Then the slimy bits, they slide about. And when it all goes down my throat, it stick and slide all the way down. Oh no, this is horrible. Bella just straight up says she's eating a dick. <laughs> Perry the platypus. 
Perry the pickle. Keep it there. Manitoba doesn't want your Alberta clippers. Wait, what's clippers? Is that some Toba slang? <laughs> You're in Canada. I assume there's multiple false springs like here in Sweden. Yeah, there are. <laughs> it's true. I just wasn't expecting a week of snow, like. This is not going in the garbage down here. I'll lay it on the staircase. <laughs> okay, I showed this on TikTok Live, but I'm gonna show you because I just saw my iPad. I wanna get your thoughts on a potential t-shirt design. Because the t-shirts for embroidery, it has to be pretty small and simple. Because it's thinner material than a sweatshirt. But also I don't wanna spend too much time embroidering each because you don't want your shirt to cost a bajillion dollars. Um. You're a mean one, Bailey J. You're so. really because I kind of want to lean into the funny thing for the summer shop update a little bit. To all you've ever seen, Bailey J. This is very crudely illustrated. But I guess that's the Bailey J way. Just triple bunny. It might even be a little smaller on the shirt than this. I would love to do a floral shirt too. I kind of want two different t-shirts to drop in the summertime, but we'll see. Comfort colors, terracotta, tea, money. Born, born. I don't know. I like it, they're adorable. Did Edgar show the Halloween special yet? Huh? We get Alberta clippers in Ohio too. I think it's a wind pattern. Maybe a pressure system. I've never heard the term. In Finland, we don't say fall spring. Instead, we say takatalvi, which means back winter it's when you thought it was spring and winter comes back with a vengeance vengeance I need it. kind of simple i can wear for work too yeah because all the tees would be pretty simple if it's embroidery so that's kind of what it would look like which is kind of nice because like it's like a, it's a graphic tee in a way but it's not too much graphic it's a classy graphic tee Nothing wrong with graphic tees though, because I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind doing some bigger things on tees. I just don't know if I want to go DTF for the big things on tees. I might actually just go DTG for that, which I would have to outsource. Oh. Yeah. Banana on the stairs is a crazy trap. <laughs> a bunny thruple. Cute standard t-shirt neck. Yeah. It's just regular. I would love some scoop necks. Although that'd be, you'd have to design on like your titty in that case. I like scoop necks, but I can't really find scoop neck blanks. colors on navy blue would be cool too yeah i'm trying to go for more of like a summery feel because like the halloween update i want some darker stuff it's the month of June, so, you know what that we'll see. Means. <laughs> i think you can't go wrong with like navy dark gray and blue or and black i mean navy blue dark gray
Oh, that was Perry's, like you're talking about Curse of Lord Chiselton. Yeah, Perry was working on one and then it crashed and it was lost. The Lost Files. The Lost Bailey J movie. Embroidered bucket hats would be cute. Yeah, I would love to do hats. I don't know if I would do them myself or if I would outsource the embroidery. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be me doing it, it'd be Christian. Never associated navy blue with Halloween. Oh, I just meant like general like dark colors could be Halloween-y, but also I was listing like in general, you can't go wrong with navy, dark gray or black. My plans for Halloween are not navy. I want something black, like a black. Here's the thing about the black though, is I would have to possibly use different blanks unless I go with the faded black. Cause like the sweatshirts I've been using for up to three XL, they are just like, they're comfier than the standard independent blanks, but the, the regular ones are fine too. They're great, they're comfortable, but the, the pigment dyed ones are a little stretchier somehow. I like that. But the independent, or sorry, the pigment dyed ones, it's light colors. So if I want dark color, I have to use the other blanks. What? Where's the black one? I have the blanks hanging in the closet here. Hello. Where did it go? For real, where did it go? I have one. I ordered a lot of different colors to see what they look like. Oh, this blue one fell. Maybe the black one fell. Oh. Oh, it fell all the way to the floor. Okay. So the pigment dyed black is actually more like a gray because it's a faded black. So if I want black, black, then I go with the other blanks. Oh God, there's like fuzz on this now because it was on the ground. Lint. So like the pigment dyed black is like this, which is cool too. It's like a cool dark gray. And then it gets like the faded look at the seams. It's pretty cool. So I'd have to decide for the Halloween stuff what I'm, what colors I'm doing. It's also one of the designs I plan to go on. Like I, th I thought it would look good on a brown. Cause possibly the fabric for the sketchbook is brown. Possibly. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to do the clay color. Cause it'd be nice to have black also, but there is there are black items in the design. But also I'm gonna do other stuff too. Like I don't, I'm not gonna have just one Halloween design. So I have to still figure out what's going where. I love black gray. Cause yeah, this is more like a kind of a charcoal-y color. So if I was gonna go for a gray sweater, I would go with this. Even though it's called black, pigment black. It's not black. But Independent does have, their other crew neck line does come in black black. Cause I've used those for like the 4X, 5X Luna Moth. Yeah, the clay color is tempting for one of the Halloween designs. Because the Halloween colors are kind of yellow, orange, brown. For my plants. Yellow, orange, brown. But of course, some black too. Should I give a stream exclusive preview of the, the Halloween sketchbook? I've got a paper print out of it. It's the most detailed sketchbook cover. I haven't received a sample of what the embroidery looks like, so I hopefully it looks okay. <laughs> of course they say yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even asking. Maybe you just see a corner of it. Did you see it? <laughs> In the small screen. Horrible at keeping my own secrets. But at least, like, I designed it in January, so at least more time has passed.
That's why I'm like, the clay sweatshirt might be good, but I wish the clay was a little darker. It's out there, no one doozies, everyone's seen it. So yeah, I haven't received the photos of the embroidery samples yet. They're working on it, they're working on it. But that's what I submitted. So by far the most detailed sketchbook cover. So that's like the aesthetic we're going for. But I can have, like there's so much I can do with this. Like I can do stuff that's more floral based or like florals and pumpkin. Like I feel like a t-shirt or sweatshirt with like the pumpkin in the middle and like kind of some florals and stuff like without the cats would look good, but then something with the cats would look good. But anything t-shirt would have to be more simple than sweatshirt. And then there's like so many possibilities for stickers. There could be like a kiki surrounded by the flowers, a minouche surrounded by the flowers, pumpkin with flowers. So it's kind of a floral like fall Halloween thing. Screenshot guys. <laughs> Getting 70s vibes. Will also be a t-shirt design. Yeah, but not exactly as it appears here. I, but I would take these elements to create something. Tote, this would work well as is for a tote. Although maybe, like I, I wanna make, this is just flat digital color. So I would wanna recreate a lot of these elements traditionally. Washi tape, looks amazing, cannot wait. Colors are nice as well. As an almost Halloween baby, I approve. It looks amazing, so excited. <laughs> so yeah, I had because I wanted a sketchbook, I had to design that so early. Like, I ordered that in early January. So I had to figure out the aesthetic. So I haven't, you know, made all the elements and figured everything out, but I at least wanted to know like what subject matters and what colors, like what's the general vibe. So hopefully this looks good on the sketchbook covers because it's a lot of detail. They might have to use regular embroidery thread for some of it because I usually get them done thick thread embroidery. But some of the areas might have to be small. Tell me there will be pins. Yeah, yeah, there will be a lot. I got to start on some of that stuff soon. But also I got to... I gotta work on my summer items first. But I want to have all the product in hand by August 1st to do an early August shop update. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're so skilled at product design. It's like you're calling. Oh, thank you. Planner pads, probably. I could like, oh God, there's like so much. It could, cause like, I really want Halloween to be my biggest shop update of the year. So there might be a lot of different products. Plus I want, I but also ideally there would be more than one, like more than one enamel pin, maybe more than one notepad. Cause I might have one that's more fall focused and then something a little more Halloween-y. Cause I can use just the flowers and like Pumpkins with or without the face, you know. The jack-o'-lantern's more Halloween-y, but just pumpkins more fall. But also there's so many different products I wanna do. So if I'm doing like two different notepads, two different enamel pins, two of this, it's like really adding up. But I really want Halloween to be like the big, the big one, so. This launch will be a madhouse. It's your best sketchbook so far, thank you. Yeah, hopefully it looks good. It's another brown one. I was nervous to repeat brown already because mushroom sketchbook's brown, but... It's kind of similar color scheme to mushroom, but a little less reddish. Mushroom has some brown thread. I guess the orange is less vibrant, but yeah, similar color scheme to mush. Putting this on my B-Day wish list. Yes, do fall too, not just Halloween, yes. Cause the fall aesthetic's so good and the Halloween aesthetic is so good. And then they overlap, it's like, huh, I must do everything. <laughs> and kick and wish changes the game, <laughs> yeah. Just... They are Halloween colors. So 
go, that's that. The secret's out. The cat's out of the bag. And the bat and the jack-o'-lantern's out of the bag. My migraine's back. Glad I got to see the Halloween reveal, but I feel like dying now is gonna lie down in a cold, dark room. <laughs> oh no, see ya, MC. I can't, it's so effing cute. <laughs> I hope you submitted this design for a diamond painting. I didn't, but also that's just the flat color. I haven't created like a, like I'd like a related art piece, but I don't know if it's gonna be laid out like that. But it would also be nice to have like traditional art version of all those elements separate, kind of like I do with the strawberries where it's like, here's just a flower, here's just a red straw. And then I can piece it together. That would be nice. But also like a full color illustration would be nice. That kind of suits the vibe. Or I just overlap the elements digitally to create some kind of scene with a solid color background. <laughs> a lot to think about. A lot to think about. I was hoping for ghosties. I do want ghosty too. The ghost wouldn't really fit on the sketchbook cover if I wanted both cats but I do want ghosties, so like there might still be some ghosty stuff. Cause I probably will have a whole collection of stickers possibly with the florals. And so there'd be like Kiki with florals, Minna with florals, maybe the pumpkin, like I was saying, but like ghosty with florals could be a sticker. Uh. But then I'm like, am I overdoing it by picking too many different subject matters? Like cat, bat, ghost, etc. <laughs> Will that interfere with future year's ideas? Put a necklace on the black cat with a Luna moth on it. <laughs> I'm so glad you waited for me to get home from work to share that. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but yeah, I was scared to share it too early because I was like, if it's a fall item and I share it in January, I was like, people are going to kind of lose interest by then <laughs> or like it's going to feel too drawn out. But it's like mid-March, late March now. Oh my God, it's the 20th. Jesus Christ. Okay, this pin is so wide it barely fits on here. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. It's hard to balance it because there's no post under the tails. The posts are under the wings. They, it's gonna be really obvious when it's not centered or, like this one's a little crooked. Mm. I mean, lining up the tails with the Bailey J text might be one way to center it. I think the best ideas are cats and ghost floral. <laughs> you could design and sell a Kiki Midna jack-o'-lantern cutting pattern. <laughs> God, the torty pattern would be so hard. Just scribble on with some Sharpie. See, <laughs> so yeah, if I look at the tails and then, yeah. Yeah, using that as my guide is kind of a good way, I think, to stick that on. Oh my God. Might be hard to figure out what needs to be cut and what needs to stay attached to make the outline, yeah. Oh, cute, cute. That's a big pin. My mom often wears her pins as little brooches, especially because she has like the candy cane bun she'll wear at Christmas time. Did she? Oh yeah, and the cutie pine is like her little Christmas brooch. And I'm like, I should do that. 
more often just wear my pins as brooches. Might be putting some holes in my clothes though. Emerald's back. Pog. Double Yatsu <laughs> YouTube and Twitch. I bought a sticker from a skate shop. It was a ghost with a boner. Put it on my water bottle every time I volunteered at my kid's school. Always needed a post-it note on it. <laughs> Ghosties, but there's a lily of the valley flower. Howl's in greeting. Back from my nap. Awoo! <laughs> now that was an interesting way to do it. I like laid the tails down on the card and then put it in. Oh yeah, okay, with those straps, I gotta write a B on them. Hold on. When I did, I have some other B grades just in here and I wrote a little B in the corner. And I wanted to do that on the other ones and then I forgot because it's not a step I usually do. <laughs> that it is a bit of a harder technique to pierce because the poster at an angle when I'm pushing on them, but okay. Just leave them. Lily of the Valley is your favorite flower. Well, what a quinky dink. <laughs> these are some freebie stickers I got in my DTF order, like they're UV DTF, and these are the two I got, and one is Lily of the Valley. <laughs> what a quinky dink. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And we can't forget about the AI bears. Oh, lordy. What do you think happened to Kate Middleton? <laughs> I think she's like seriously fine because she said she's going on a break. I think she is just on her break. But I think it's weird how like there's not a single statement being like, she's fine. You know, like. I have a bunch pinned to my backpack lately, but the mushroom girl fell off somewhere on campus. Do you have any of the locking clutches? Or are you just using the rubber ones? Because if you're gonna put it on a backpack, I recommend the locking clutches. They're not a guarantee that it'll stay on, but it's a lot more durable. Or you need like a an Ita bag. May is Lily of the Valley? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what's my flower? What's up with the Photoshop photos? I thought maybe they just didn't take any new ones and so just pieced something together. I don't know. Because like if she's truly taking time off, she's probably not going for photo shoots. I haven't bought some trading cards in so long, so I treated myself with 12 booster packs. In total, we'll have 160 cards. Ooh. Oh, wait, now I need to use the... Ma'am? No, you're not allowed on the cloth. Back into your baby box. That's right. 
Oh, poor little thing. Good girl, she went to her box. Good girl, Kiki. Oh, good girl. Oh, Kiki, you're getting a call. Yes, this is Kiki speaking. Hello, yes, this is her. This is she. Well, I guess I'll come scratch your couch for you. Okay, bye. This is Kiki's phone. <laughs> what if the cats had sheets and were the ghosts? Oh my God! Like maybe some bunny ghosts too. <laughs> Although the Halloween will be more cat focused than bunny focused, but you ever sniff your own skin? Like I'm sniffing my upper lip, or I like sniff my hand. <laughs> anyway. Where's the tape dispenser? Oh, it's literally right in front of me. But we're gonna swap it out for Luna Moth Washi. I probably don't have one out. No. But where's the one I was playing with the other day though? That's gotta, oh yeah, it's over here. These. Really, I should be using up the generic Bailey J washi because I have so many rolls of it. I should use it at every chance. And it like, kind of goes, it matches. But it's just like can't resist using the matching washi. Okay. <laughs> the ring sound he did sounded exactly like this toy phone I had when I was little. <laughs> Wait. I didn't hear Long Long's membership from 10 minutes ago. Or 22 minutes ago, sorry. Long Long's! Thank you for the 10 months. I just had to wait a long, long time to read that. That's all. <laughs> And Nina, thank you for the 10 months. And Spooky, thank you for the 10 months. Kiki's staring into my soul. <laughs> she was really close off. I didn't even realize she was visible like that. <laughs> Hi, Inks. Reminds me of that TikTok trend that pops up every Halloween of pets with sheets on them. <laughs> Saddest little baby in the room. And now, a little bee. Kind of like I do with the B grade sketchbooks. throw these into that bin with those stickers and then the straps will go in their bin but I forgot to put little bees on this one these ones our soul she owns us now thank 
Kiki any given second. Mm. <laughs> Sleeping with her eyes open. Hey, Nanny. The BASMR is hitting. <laughs> love, love, love. And she's gone. Once a member, always a member. I'm laughing so much with Kiki there. She just stares at us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kiki, you're just adorable. <laughs> Would it be easier to get small stickers with a B instead of writing it? No, because you'd have to like peel it off and put it on. I feel like writing it's faster and way cheaper. Writing a B takes one second, you know. Peeling a sticker and sticking it on is probably like three seconds. <laughs> um, right, those are eight grades. Okay, so this, this. I'm free from these coupon monsters. No wonder we make no money. <laughs> Coupon day. Get a B stamp. The glassine doesn't really like being stamped that well. It doesn't really seep in very easily, but with the Sharpie it does. It takes a bit to dry, but. Pets the sheets to make them ghosts is adorable. The show writers did that with Clifford's puppy days, though he used a napkin, not a sheet. <laughs> I think I've seen the, that Clifford picture. I don't know if I've read the that story in particular, but I've seen the pic. Do you sometimes poke yourself when you do the pins? Sometimes. They're not overly sharp, but like if you had enough force, it would hurt. Hi, Neve. Don't get to watch the lives much, but just wanted to say I love you, Bailey, and love your art. Thank you, Sorceress. doing TikTok live or YouTube live with Twitch. Right now, on Wednesdays, it's YouTube and Twitch. Probably should go to sleep, but sleep is gorgeous the week, <laughs> for the week. <laughs> Four to gorgeous would be a weird Autocorrect. Morning, am I late again? I've been streaming for like three and a half hours. 
Haven't seen you do pin preps before. Yeah, I haven't had that many pins in my store lately. So it's been a while because I had the duckies. And I think I did maybe like one ducky live pin live stream or something. Because that was the only new pin last year. What time is it? It's just about 4 p.m. here. I guess I should set them on this side because this hand is on this side. I was saying earlier I need these naked pins to be on this side. I suppose I can just push them over. Because I like pushing the clutches back on on my left hand side. And then I can set the finished ones also on the left hand side. I went to the Cheesecake Factory the other day and some lady started shaking her ass and yelled, Cheesecake isn't the only kind of cake that's in this factory, baby. I was in shock. Simply had to order what she ordered. She's my new hero. <laughs> Wait, how'd you know I went to Cheesecake Factory? I guess you were there. You saw me. Maybe you just didn't recognize me because I was wearing a wig. <laughs> I tried to sleep this week, but every time a stream gets interesting, I stay awake. <laughs> Hey, Gabrielle. Love your products and your videos. They're my favorite to watch. Thank you. Abrupt Kiki. Sudden Kik. You? I'm talking about you. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Abrupt Chaos. But you stay off this spot. You stay off the fabric. Yeah, you. I deleted really TikTok from my phone first week of February and honestly haven't missed it. <laughs> Have you heard of people who purchase your art from your shop who had no idea of your YouTube? I don't think so. Like, because I wouldn't know if they know my YouTube or not unless they left a message about it. But then, like, how would they know about the YouTube? Like, they couldn't say, like, I'm not here because of YouTube unless they knew about the YouTube. I mean, I guess they could have found out about my YouTube later and then told me, but I doubt people are finding me through like a Google search. My get off my lawn moment was hating people saying videoing instead of recording. <laughs> I should have known that was you. That tramp stamp juicy exit <laughs> should have been the biggest giveaway. <laughs> juicy exit. Hey, espresso sore. True, your brain is so logic. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm trying to read chat. Kiki sniffing your camera. <laughs> your cats are just the cutest. Yeah. Oh, time for more close-up Keek, unless she lays down. She was sitting up, staring into everyone's souls mere minutes ago. Now she's just a blub. Now she's just a blub. Finally caught you going live. Love your videos and the good vibes. Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. Welcome to the streams. The cold dregs at the bottom that taste extra strong. Although it doesn't have all that like powdery residue that a Keurig K cup does. Well, at least, well, Okay, when I say K-cup, I guess I meant my reusable K-cups that I would fill with ground coffee. <laughs> so that's probably why. <clears throat> A 
Oh, she's sitting up, but she's facing the wrong way. She can't stare into your soul. She's staring at her mummy. Oh God, these are slippery. <laughs> Brooklyn, actually my cats are the cutest. Yeah, Ren and Batman are pretty cute. They're like third and fourth cutest. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what about Kitty and Crinkle? They are the six cutest kitties in the land. the cold end of a hot drink. <laughs> I have a cat, but he's not attempted to jump on any counter. So grateful. Damn. So you're not, don't have to be on that Lysol game. <laughs> Been watching since before he got engaged. Dang. That was a long time ago. When your username used to appear as purple to me, but now it's teal and it's throwing me off. Maybe because it's the YouTube account versus the Twitch account? Because the YouTube usernames don't have color, but they do in my chat extension that I use. <laughs> Been watching since the tiny apartment. Been watching since he got the cats. Been watching since early high school. I mean, I don't know how old you are, so I don't know what that means. You could be in your first year of college. What are you doing? She's like, found a little piece of tape and she's like, and then drops it. Don't swallow it. She's staring at it. Whoa, whoa. She went. There we go. <laughs> why, baby, why? No emergency vet visits. I mean, it's a teeny piece. She'd probably throw it up like she does when she eats washi tape. <laughs> Her head is... <laughs> oh, actually, that's kind of long. Can I have that? Thank you. Thank you, confiscated. Here, you can play with this a plastic bag don't suffocate this bag is not a toy <laughs> oh my god now there's a brooklyn and B brooklyn have the same color username every time someone says my name i'm like huh and then i have to remember i don't know this person in real life <laughs> i was recommended the spider video three years ago Man, my puke. <laughs> Dude, yesterday there was just puke right in the middle of my art table right here. Like right where this cardboard is. Oh, wait, right where <laughs> this is. And only Midna was down here, so I think it was her, but usually Kiki's the puker. Let's see those eyes again. That was so cute. Look over here. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's so cute. You nasty. Bye, Lisette.
she's not really interested in that toy. One thing she does like is this little... Hey, did you steal it again? It's a paper clip that's opened. Oh yeah, this, because I use it for unclogging my paint. I always find this on the floor and see her. Like I hear it hit the floor and then I look over and there's Kiki there. Yeah, but that's more for like batting it across the floor. I think it's too big for her to swallow based on the shape, but it's a little risky. Probably a bit of a danger toy. She's being bullied. <laughs> oh, no, I can't do it there. She can't reach it. Oh, sorry, Kiki. I should have put it where you could reach it. Poor thing. Oh my God, I just realized I didn't hit record on this. I'm not even doing a local recording. I have to rip it from YouTube. Oh, dee dee, poor thing. She's so offended. Black cats always remind me of toothless or bats. <laughs> she's licking her back where it was stuck. Now she's biting my lip balm, hey. Hey, she knocked it on the floor. Oh, that was payback. Yeah, I deserved that, I guess. This is why all my stuff's always on the floor. Baby. <laughs> Look, it's you guys. But you see, it kind of looks like Twitch chat, but it's like also YouTube chat. It assigns you username colors, which I love, but I can't see all the emotes, which makes me sad. I see like the Twitch emotes, but I don't see my emotes. Like the YouTube ones don't come through. They just come through as text. <sighs> Hi, me. <laughs> this is how I get more engagement. All right, everybody say Hi. <laughs> I'm laughing when you put that sticky label on Kiki. She took no time at all to just rip it off. Quality vlog content. You can't keep any string like stuff out because Batman instantly tries to eat it. Like hawks it back like a snake eating a mouse. <laughs> no. Even if it's a toy on the end, he will bite through the string and start swallowing it. No. <laughs> Oh, it's zoomed in all the way. Weather alert. Wait, at the bottom of my screen, there's a red weather alert. What is that? But if I click that, is it gonna dox me? <laughs> oh. Wait, who is that? I tried Amazon's best-selling leggings. That's not even a weather alert. Now it just says snow. Maybe because it hadn't actually like loaded. It was like weather alert, just kidding. Six degrees of snow. Well, minus six degrees. Mine chew plastic and swallow some and get sick. Edgar. <laughs> Okay, anyway. Put this back over here in case we get any more kiki moments. Ah, Christian's really catching up. He's probably done pinning his pins already. I mean, I could take a break from pinning these and grade some more straws for him.
She's live on 157 Sunny Brook Street. <laughs> I'm here now since you missed me so much. <laughs> now it's Twitch, Twitch Brooklyn. She was in the YouTube chat, now she's on the Twitch chat. Night guys, enjoy the stream. Good night, Lilypad. Yep. How is it working with your husband? My husband and I loved it, but love hearing others' opinion on it. I don't mind it at all, because we kind of still keep to ourselves. It's not like we're working in the same room the whole day or like actively interacting with each other. So it's good. Part of me does miss just like the whole having the house to myself thing, but at the same time, it's like, why? <laughs> Bo. At the same time, it's like he's not here. He's upstairs right now. Like, I don't see him. I don't hear him. Let's keep it that way. No, I'm just <laughs> For sure. But no, it works well. We don't get on each other's nerves. Once a member, always a member. It's good to have him here when my heavy shipments come in. <laughs> and we, uh, yeah, he was working from home since the pandemic, so it's like, even when he wasn't working for me, he was working from home for a while, so I was used to it. We knew it could work. Thank goodness Brooke left that horrid, dangerous area. YouTube is no place for people like Brooke. <laughs> what? <gasps> it's today you're gonna see Evangelion in theaters. Excite. Okay, that's a little crooked. I'm gonna try that one again. I don't have extra cards. Sometimes if you want to just move it over a little bit, it just ends up sliding back into the same holes you made the first time. <laughs> that is almost the same, but it's good enough because before it was practically touching the edge of the card and I didn't like that. They're not all going to be perfect, but it was just too much towards the edge before. Just living the dream honestly i'd love to work from home for a small art business without having to be the one who runs the business <laughs> yeah he just gets given the tasks although his stuff is some of the more redundant tasks like him handling all the embroidery whereas my days are more varied he's kind of like most days he's doing the embroidery but it's like if he's doing a sweater chest that takes 40 minutes to stitch out if he's got both machines going together he doesn't really have anything to do for like half an hour. Cause once it's done, he has to take it off, take it off the hoop, cut the stabilizer, fold it, sleeve it, label the sleeve. Like there's steps to do after it comes off the machine. So that's why I say 30 minutes maybe. But the machine can stop. There can be thread breaks, bobbin breaks, whatever. And there's machine maintenance to do. But he like, for the most part, he put a sweater on and he can just kind of chill and plays video games in there. <laughs> He could just game. <laughs> so he does a bit more of the grunt work, but. But it's also like, not dealing, it's not like a retail setting where you're dealing with people face to face. It's like chill. Mom wanted me to tell you she's stuck under her cat. <laughs> what? 
Would you ever print a guide on the backing so you know where to place the pin? No, because I wouldn't be able to see it. Like, how would I see the lines? I'd have to go like this. And even then it's tricky and like, that ain't worth it. I can't see the pin posts when I'm pinning it on. We only need to worry if Chiz starts stitching help messages into sweaters. Then we have to break him out of the embroidery room. <laughs> Low battery, please recharge headset. I guess I'm putting in the other earbud. I don't like you putting the earbud in my good ear. Now when I talk, I hear my own voice in my head. Ah! So I was looking up about like, oh no, I came across a post online, like on Reddit or something, someone being like, I think it was the Calgary subreddit, someone's like, where do I go to get my ears cleaned out? And I was like, wait, this is relevant for me because I have a semi-blocked ear. And then everyone in the comments was just saying that they use the same ear cleaning kits you can get at the store. And Christian actually has one, but I don't know if I trust it. I might need to sanitize it. Cause like he would like clean out his ears with it and then he'd suck more water into the bulb, but he would draw from the same, like the dirty water. And I'm like, no, you need two containers of water. You draw from the clean one and empty it into the dirty one. Anyway, so I don't know if I want to use his ear bulb over. I just want to get my own. And he has weird red earwax in the one ear and I'm scared I'm going to get an infection from it. I should just get one on Amazon or something. And if that doesn't work, then go into a doctor. Cause it could be actual hearing loss. It might not be a blocked ear, but I do, I like my Q-tips. So it's probably earwax. Do you think you get more business due to YouTube? Yeah. Cause like the people buying from my store, the people who follow me online. Social media is the key to success. Chiz paid a, paid a fair wage of one cent per hour and gets one 10 minute break per 12 hour shift. Bailey, hey, I said no such thing. You think he gets breaks? <laughs> My husband has one called Elephant Ear or something. It's a spray bottle with special tips. Oh yeah, I love those like little... Once a member, always a member. I don't know how effective they are, but I see ads for them. It's like a little device that goes deep in your ear and it's got a little scooping end and you just like... It's got a camera too. Although they're like a hundred bucks, but just like... but I'd probably try something cheaper because I feel like once I get this out, my ears will be fine for a long time. Because my other ear's fine. <laughs> as long as I keep using the Q-tips, there won't be much more buildup. <laughs> Would Christian ever design a product? Mm. Hmm. I mean, he's not the designing type, but if I prompted him to draw something that I would turn into like an enamel pin. <laughs> the ch design, like that pooping pig he drew that one time. Might be blocked due to using Q-tips, yeah. That's what I suspect. Although the uh, one ear's fine, one's not. So the other ear just got lucky, I guess. I think the scoop ones are a bit dangerous if you're not careful. That's kind of what I was scared of too. I was like, I maybe just want to try the water technique. There's like a solution you put in your ear and then you let it sit for a bit and then you... Husband uses the elephant ear cleaner. It works really good for him. 
This is satisfying to watch. <laughs> I'm gonna look at this elephant ear thing. I should just order something now because I've been saying to myself for like two weeks, I should get that, I should get that. But I'm curious what the elephant ear is. And when we got all those card points that we can redeem on Amazon so I can get one for free. Oh, I just typed credit because I mentioned my card. Okay, elephant <laughs> ear washer. Whoa, wait, that's not it. Elephant ear washer bottle. Oh, it's like a spray bottle. Ooh. $58. Wait, and then this one's $51. There's like knockoff ones for $24.99. That look the exact same. Although that only has a four star review, whereas elephant ear has four and a half. It's literally a spray bottle with a tube. How is that $52? Oh my God, there's this one kit that's got the spray bottle with tube, but it's also got like a catch-all container, different tips and a bulb. <laughs> Although would I need the bulb if I have the spray bottle? Probably not. Wow, 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 oh my God. Free delivery tomorrow. Oh, this comes with the bulb too, the no name one. Oh my God, and it comes with a bunch of those weird tools that I'm scared to use. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't think mine are blocked, but I still want to flush them because what if they are and then I'll hear like Superman <laughs> or it could be like the start of buildup. And so it's like preventative, you know, like it's not enough to cause hearing loss maybe, or maybe just minor. Let me look at the reviews. I'm ready to purchase this now. I just want to look at the reviews. For all ages. Oh, nice. Soft spray. Disposable irrigation tips. Includes 30 disposable tips for hygienic use. I like the sound of that. Okay, reviews, let's go. How far do I gotta scroll to get to the reviews? You oh, don't need to see the pictures of the earwax, but also that's a <laughs> Why am I so gaggy right now? Okay. The first one was just me being dramatic. The second one was actually... Ooh, this review says better than expected. The instructions say to use room temperature water and I tried that at first, then use slightly warm water with the attachment freezing on myself. It worked like a charm and removed three chunks of wax from my ear. I will spare you the pictures. <laughs> okay, blah, 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 blah. Will work, but painful. Every six to 12 months, I have to remove wax buildup in my ears. Mm. Used it and impressed with results. No longer have to go to nurse station to get ears cleaned. Ooh, this one gave this person gave a one star. Okay for the whole ten seconds that it works. I've attached a video in which I pushed the tip as hard as I could onto the spout and showed the tip coming off. The pressure is far less than the elephant ear that was used on me at the doctor's. But still manages to get a bit of debris out of my ear. Was his defective or? This person says, great. If you have to get your ears flushed regularly, you need to get this. It's the exact same thing they use at the doctors. Instant relief from clogged ears. Seriously, one of the best purchases ever. Most of these reviews are five star. Okay, I'm gonna get it. I'm not paying $52 for the elephant ear. I'm getting this knockoff one for $25. Proceed to checkout. 
continue to check out. Why did you have to bring me to two pages? When I said proceed to check out, it brought me to a recommendations page and then I could click continue to check out. Okay. We still have over a thousand dollars in points. Oh my God. Although this purchase will put us under a thowie. We have a thousand and twenty two dollars in points. Whoa. Uh, continue. Free delivery tomorrow. Woo! I'm about to hear an HD. Could you not use a Q-tip to clean your ears? I use a Q-tip every single day. The thing is Q-tips will just push clogged wax deeper into your ear. They can't scoop it out. But I feel like if you got your ear really clean and then used Q-tips every day, wouldn't they stay clean? Although I'm sure some would at least get pushed back. I got scolded by my doc last visit because she could tell I use Q-tips. I'm never gonna stop. I don't care if they scold me because I have to dry my ears. I can't, like, if I don't dry them after my shower, I can like feel water running down the sides of my ear canal and it tickles and it drives me nuts. Plus I can't put my earbuds in if my ears are wet. And do I have to go deep? No, but it feels good. Q-tips is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Help. Be sure to let us know if you get HD hearing. Oh, I will. I'm gonna film the use of it. I guess the question is, will that be in this coming vlog or the next? Because ideally, to, like I want to put up a Monday vlog. I want to get back into posting those. So, ideally Thursday, I would start filming for the Monday vlog. <laughs> you can get caught and stuck in there and get infections. My drill spilled everywhere, so don't want to diamond paint anymore. No! Same, I have to use Q-tips after I shower because my ears are itchy. I have to hide the Q-tips because one of our kittens likes to eat them. Why, baby's wrong. Wait, did I miss some alerts again? <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, wait. I, okay, I read Nina's YouTube one, but I don't think I read the Twitch one. <laughs> Nina, why are you member slash sub on both? <laughs> thanks for the 16 months on Twitch. And Dr. Bennett, thanks for the 10 months. And Bats in the Belfry, thank you for the 26 months. I'm hungry again. How is ratio between A and B grade? Um, two, three, four, five, six B grades. Oh wait, that's out of 50 though. That's 12%.
I mean, I expected higher B grades with the design and the fact that it has glitter. Whereas the, the strawberries have been like 6%, I would say. Cause how many did I have yesterday? Like six B grades. And then today I had three and eight. So yeah, the, the straws are around 6%. That's 12%. It's good so far. Yeah, 12 is a little high. But I feel like 15% and under is perfectly acceptable. Like it's pretty dish, pretty dish. This manufacturer is pretty good. Previous manufacturers, I'd have a lot more B grades. Crazier having this talk while I got an ear infection from overusing Q-tips. Oh no, wait, maybe you will be able to scare me into stopping. <laughs> Honestly, I'm scared of the water giving me an infection. Like, do I need to use distilled water? I don't have that. Like if I use tap water. <laughs> eh. It's gonna pass the blood brain barrier. The ear's really close to the brain. The earbuds probably push the wax in. Oh yeah. Me wearing earbuds all the time now, definitely not helping. <laughs> like they don't go that deep, but I'm sure it just pushes it back just enough. Cause it's like, I wear my earbud in the right ear cause that's the one that has the weaker hearing, but I'm probably compounding the problem by doing that. <laughs> How many are there? There are 50, this bag has 50. I have 500 of each pin design for a total of a thousand. The straws are in bags of 100 and the Lunas are in bags of 50. Cassandra, thanks for the membership. Have a great day, Bailey. See you in the vlog. See ya, Kiana. I'll go to bed after the heist. Good night, Kitty. Oh my God, I'm like ravenous all of a sudden, help. I mean, probably because I didn't really have any protein with breakfast. I gotta hard boil some eggs. I mean, sometimes I just like do egg and toast. I had toast with no egg. Ah! But also I wanna have some hard boiled ones too for when I just want like, like a cheese whiz toast with an egg. Oh my God. I mean, actually that's not too bad. Okay. I still haven't perfected the hard boil with this uh, gas stove, but I haven't really tried much. <laughs> so I made some a couple weeks ago but they were undercooked, so I had to reboil them. But that's not a good indicator of how long I actually need because they obviously cooled down in the fridge for a day and then I reboiled them. So if I did five minutes in five minutes by putting them directly into boiling water, but that's not the same as 10 minutes because it started off cold the second time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I need like eight minutes. <laughs> Cause I had a system with the old stove. We had a glass stove top at the last place and I would put the eggs in cold water, bring it to a boil. What the hell? Then take it off heat covered for like 12 minutes. But I swear Christian's dad said he just boils eggs for five minutes and they're perfect. But at five is too short. But I also don't know if he ice baths them, like puts them in cold water right after. Are you sure about that? 
Five minutes was not enough for me. They were like so soft boiled that I could hardly peel them. I was losing a lot of egg white while peeling them. And there the are yolk things in this world that we will never fully, fully understand. <laughs> understand. We want answers. Maybe five minutes is if you put them when the water's already boiling. I did, I put them into boiling water, like a rolling boil, and it wasn't enough. So I'm gonna try, bring to a boil, and then maybe like eight minutes. Recommended is 10. 10 was perfect when I did five and five, but the second five was from cold egg. So I feel like it should be a little less than 10, because I want the yolk just slightly undercooked, like not 100% hard boiled. Like if there's a dark ring around the yolk, it's too cooked. I want the yolk to look slightly translucent. I steam mine eight to 10 minutes for softer yolk, then ice bath them 10 for harder yolk. Yeah, I want softer yolk. So, yeah, that, okay, so then eight maybe is good then. Going to bed now, good night everyone, good night. Well, boiling eggs is a science I can't master. <laughs> There's like different ways to do it, whether or not you put them in the water before it boils or after, plus like every stove top is different. Cause if you leave it on like a glass stove top, the glass stays hot. Whereas a gas stove, you turn the heat off, the heat's off. Like the metal grates will stay hot for a bit, but it's only touching a small part of the pan. You mostly rely on direct flame for gas. So yeah, it's completely different. They say three minutes for ramen eggs, but those are like not peelable. Cause I've done that too, where I like pop an egg in with the ramen water, but they're way too soft and borderline unpeelable. Like how do you get the white to fully cook and then keep the inner yolk soft? Cause it is nice when you have a runny yolk for the ramen, but how do they do it where like the white is fully cooked? I can't, I can't figure it out. <laughs> Although if I'm just eating a hard boiled egg, I'd like it a little more cooked than that. I want the egg solid, but a little translucent, the yolk. I crack them directly into the ramen. We've done that too, kind of like poached. Although it's a bit tricky to stir without breaking the egg. <laughs> I bring to boil an eight min with lid, leave with lid for two, then cool with water and peel. So when you say bring to boil though, where do you put the eggs in though? Do you mean you put the eggs in before you bring it to a boil or once it is boiling? There's so many ways. God, these look good. soft eggs. <laughs> okay. Every fridge is different too. I cook mine for four minutes, but like my eggs to be more runny. There are little egg helpers. I have an egg which goes in the water at the same time I put real eggs in the fake egg colors. More white, the harder the eggs get. Put eggs in tap water, bring to boil, and time for three minutes for soft four for how you like. Also the tricky part is like what you consider a boil. Cause there's like the actual boil, but then there's like rolling boil. 
I feel like rolling boil is easier to see, but it's kind of like ramps up. So it's like, <laughs> I feel like that really affects things, which is why I started just putting the eggs in the already boiling water. Cause then there's, otherwise there's too much leeway, you know? Too many variables. get an egg steamer, have one that works great, do it for 20 minutes and the yolks are hard. I mean, I have a steamer. I could just use like a pan with like the steamer grate. I probably wouldn't get an egg steamer specifically. I don't think I do enough hard boiled eggs to warrant that. Plus I just, I'm anti-kitchen gadget. <laughs> like appliance. I don't need another appliance. mine in a stacking pan steamer. But I think steamed eggs ice bath are easiest to peel. These older eggs are easier to peel. That's true too. Yeah. I usually don't do older eggs. Because the eggs don't last that long around here lately. Backing cards look really good now that you have the pins on it. Yeah, they're kind of underwhelming alone. It's like, oh, <laughs> but then the pins look really good. <laughs> Boil the water first, add egg. Cook for six to seven minutes for runny yellow. Buy big egg packs from Sam's Club, they still don't last us very long. I roll, rolling boil them for a few minutes, five to 10, then let them sit in the cooling water for 20. Rinse with cold water and they're done and peel easy. Been debating buying the five dozen box next time, dang. I'm really going through those. I was working on a huge diamond painting a few months ago. All the diamonds spilled everywhere on the carpet, so I had to use the vacuum to pick them up. But still haven't picked up since. Mostly because my parents emptied the vacuum and my diamonds are gone. If it's a diamond art club one, they might send you some of that color, assuming you spilled one color. I hope you didn't spill multiple colors because you shouldn't have a bunch of colors open at once. are cooked when I'm under cold water and they peel easy. Mine go into like a cold water bath after. look beautiful. Thanks. I was like, oh, I should film like a little TikTok clip of the little cluster of unsleeved ones, but I can do that another time too. Yes. It'd be fun to do with a bigger pile. And I have plenty more of these. So. I can do it when I'm not streaming. Do 
you guys color your eggs for Easter and hide them? Like real eggs? I've colored eggs as a kid, but not didn't hide them. an egg is the harder it is to peel when I get real one real fresh ones from my neighbor they're very hard to peel but the taste is much better <laughs> I think I ate bad general so's chicken and I'm really praying I'm not gonna get sick later oh no what was iffy about it Did it look like a little uncooked or something? Undercooked? Currently working on a purse sewing kit. It's all leather and I've never sewed before. Lol, the struggle. <laughs> Is Kiki sleeping? Yes. Yeah. Finland, we have Easter candy called Nino egg, which is real eggshell, but it's filled all the way with an almond hazelnut nougat. So it's just a whole egg of chocolate that you can peel like a real egg. Oh, that's interesting. On Easter, we couldn't find one of the boiled eggs we hid in the backyard. Two weeks later, my grandpa ran over it with a lawnmower and it was the most disgusting smell ever. I've never done an outdoor Easter hunt. They were always hidden around the house. And like the bulk of them were those really small foil wrapped eggs that are just solid chocolate. And they'd be hidden in groups of three around the house because there were three of us kids. And so it's like we each get one. And then there were some bigger items too and there'd always be like a big chocolate bunny. Yeah, uh, Kinder eggs. When you found one of those, one of the Kinder surprise eggs, it was like, Whoa, jackpot. And my mom went all out. Like those little foil ones were everywhere. And sometimes you'd find them months later. <laughs> They drill a hole in the bottom of the egg and patch it up with sugar once it's full of nougat. <laughs> Make sure to count the real eggs before and after hiding them now. <laughs> it's just like weird to me to be like, to find a real egg on Easter. Like Easter morning, I want chocolate. <laughs> I don't want a real egg. Although I would, the ones we'd paint would be hard boiled eggs. So jealous of you guys that did the whole Easter egg hunt thing. I never got to do any of it. No. Tape. <laughs> we also do plastic eggs filled with candy. That's one thing we never did. But it seems like that's pretty popular. We wouldn't do that. My parents would just hide our Easter baskets. Wait, so once you find the basket, that's it? You're just hunting for one thing? No. Like, we wake up Easter morning, our basket's empty. We gotta go find the stuff. Although there was one year we did Easter at Grandpa and Grandma's, and I remember we just, because there were other cousins there too, I think. So it was like, we woke up in the morning, we just had our basket, because it would just be too chaotic. <laughs> Otherwise, Anthony's family does the plastic eggs filled with toys and candy. Yeah, we were never toy heavy on Easter. Like, I don't, we usually didn't get any toys. I think it was mostly just candy. But I remember one year we got the Pocahontas 2 VHS. <laughs> it was under one of the cushions. 
those black swivel chairs that were in the living room. I think his sister hid some for her kids outside, but the ants found them first. Wait, through the plastic shell? You'd think the plastic would be ant proof. Unless they were like different ones that the ants got to. I never heard of the indoor hunt to fill a basket. That's actually so cute. Yeah, we never, never did the outdoor hunt, but also it's probably like often really cold here. Like literally right now there's snow everywhere and it's snowing all week. So I think the outdoor hunts are probably less popular where it's often snowy this time of year. <laughs> or just cold in general. Like if it's zero degrees out, I mean, you could still bundle up, I guess, and go out and hunt, but. That'd be a lot of ground to cover because we grew up on a farm. <laughs> like even if it was just our immediate yard, the yard wrapped around like the whole house. So even that's a big area to hunt. But I guess fewer small hiding places. There's so many little nooks and crannies in a house. And some of them were hidden in plain sight, like along a windowsill or something you might see. And then others were more hidden. See, those plastic eggs are kind of big, so I feel like you have fewer hiding places. But it makes sense for outdoors, because outdoors is big. But indoor, I feel like those little foil ones were perfect, because they were small. They'd fit so many different places. I think the shell had a little air hole. Ah, that would do it. Which were not, oh, there. The only toys associated with Easter are Kinder Egg toys. That's true, we would, our Kinder Eggs did have toys in them, I guess. <laughs> I'm in the southern US, so no snow for us. One year I was living with my mom, we leased together, but we were not in the best terms. But when she went to bed, and other two sisters went to sleep. I still planned to make a trail to the lounge from each bedroom door. Oh, like like a candy trail? Put everyone's mood back up. I don't think my mom had many good Easter's like that when she was young. I lived in California most of my life. Now I live in Texas. Same with the out, no outdoor egg hunts. The lint chocolate bunnies. I don't know if we ever had those, maybe once or twice. Lint was too fancy. <laughs> Although we had like the big, the big chocolate bunnies, like not fancy chocolate, but we'd each get one of those. Maybe a few Kinder eggs each and the little small foil ones. That was like the bulk of it, but I'm sure sometimes there were other things. The Luna Moth washi on the pin package is a nice touch yet. I was saying earlier that I really should be using this because I have so many of these Bailey J rolls. But, and like it does match too, it looks good, but it's like really hard to not use the matching washi on it. I used to not tape these shut at all, but it's kind of fun. nice extra little touch, you know? I'm trying to get the 
camera to show closer to the edge of the table. Hey Nev, hope you've had a good day. I have, hope you have too. <laughs> we still do an egg hunt at my mom's place even though most of us are well into our 20s. It's my partner's first time this year. I can't wait to see him hunt from the eggs since he's almost two meters. <laughs> Can get those hard to reach ones. Keeping to aesthetics, yeah. Do you have Cadbury mini eggs in Canada? I'm obsessed with the, them. Planning to make cookies with them next week. We do have them. I feel like we sometimes have those at Easter, maybe a couple. They're not my favorite thing to eat, but they're still good. I love the mini eggs. Like, like mini eggs or like the small foil ones? Cause yeah, mini eggs are good. And you know, the Hershey brand ones just don't hit as hard. They're cheaper, but like, I got a splurge for the actual mini eggs. I should buy some. Ah, no, I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I saw them at Sobeys the other day, and the only reason I didn't buy them is because we're at Sobeys where everything costs way more money. We just wanted to get like some fresh fruit and bread, butter, like a few basics and eggs. And it's, every time I go there, I'm like, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> Everything's so expensive. I refuse to buy something if it's not on sale. At Sobeys. Are Canadian Cadbury mini eggs like the American ones or the British ones? I don't know, I only know Canadian min mini eggs, mini cream eggs. Well, wait, Cadbury mini, oh wait, mini eggs. We're talking about, not the Cadbury cream eggs, but the mini eggs, which are also by Cadbury. Are they? Maybe. The mini eggs, I don't know what you're talking about. I think Canadian candy usually lines up with British candy more than American candy. American verse British <laughs> or British British Ugh, I can't type whatever they know what I mean it'll autocorrect me stateside mini eggs are one solid hue including the color blue in the UK however eggs are dotted with speckles to look more realistically egg-like. They come only in white, yellow, pink, and purple, meaning no blue. According to this TikToker, the British version's flavor is way better. Well, visually ours look like the American ones then. They're not speckled, but the Hershey brand ones are speckled. We have these purple ones, like not this yellow one. We don't have these yellow speckled one, yellow packaging with speckled eggs. We have the purple packaging with solid color eggs. Like this. Now is the chocolate the same as Americans? I don't know. Cause in general, Canadian chocolate's different. It's like milkier than American chocolate or something. So visually and packaging wise, it's like the American one, but I don't know taste wise. The Canadian mini egg formulation changed a few years back and they aren't as good as they used to be. Oh, I never noticed. <laughs> but also I never really bought them regularly until a few years ago. So maybe I've been on the new formula A 
I'll fight someone for Cadbury caramel eggs. Wait, 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 wait. That's what I need to be buying. When I was thinking of the cream eggs, I was like, well, I'd like them. I was thinking to myself, like, if they were caramel, I'd eat them. You're telling me those exist? Hold the phone! Because the cream, I don't care for the cream. Caramel, though. I prefer Superstore because Sobeys is so expensive and their fruit and veggies I find are not as fresh, right? Like, ugh, I was struggling to find fruit that was on sale at Sobeys and like the strawberries weren't the best pricing, but it was pretty decent. It was on sale, but they were like half rotten already. And listen, I do like my strawberries half rotten, <laughs> but they would only be good for like a day or two. <laughs> I want them to last like a week. <laughs> Bye, Brooklyn. In mini and regular size. Ooh. So I feel like mini is easier to eat, but if it's like the cream eggs, the, the smaller ones don't have a good chocolate to cream ratio. Like, I feel like there's too much chocolate in the... Like the smaller ones have a higher chocolate ratio, right? Cause it's like the same thickness of chocolate, but like, you know. But maybe that's for the best. Maybe, I, hmm, would I want the higher chocolate ratio? I mean, for a cream egg, probably. Cause the cream is eh. Hmm. Cadbury caramel eggs are amazing. You have to try them. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> I want this so bad. Remember the egg that store clerks would write name. What? <gasps> Wait, do you mean like a paper egg and they would like, you could get your name written on it and they would hang it in the store? Where I finish a color drill and now I'm finding ones I missed. Yeah. <laughs> I do that all the time too. <laughs> I usually get five packs at Walmart and stock up because they only come out during Easter. <laughs> the Hershey Company gets the license to make Cadbury eggs in the US. Wait. Does that mean you don't have Hershey mini eggs? Cause like the Cadbury mini eggs would be the Hershey mini eggs. Cause here in Canada, we have Cadbury mini eggs and we have Hershey's mini eggs. And the Hershey's ones are not as good. So if Hershey's is doing them in the US. I think we have the Hershey mini eggs. <gasps> I mean, there might be both depending what store you go to. But when I Googled US versus UK, it's showing the purple ones, the Cadbury. And it says Cadbury on it. Oh, and the Hershey's ones are called Eggies, I think. Hershey, Eggies. Yeah, at least in Canada, they're packaged like this. Wait, what link am I clicking? Don't dox me, Instacart, no. Like these, like these are still good, but they're not as good as the Cadbury mini eggs. Eggies Whoppers. I want that. <laughs> it's still Cadbury packaging, but says the Hershey Co. stuff on the package. Well, maybe the Canadian ones do too then. Although there is a separate Hershey's Eggies. So it'd be kind of weird if Hershey's owned both, but also that's a way to take over the whole market, I guess. <laughs> Snaps from Brooklyn. 
Oh, noodles. There's Rena. <laughs> Watching Bailey J stream. <laughs> oh, I can't zoom in. Yep. Oh, and there's Batman. Sometimes I call them Kiko and Modna. Because <laughs> there's a torty and a black cat. Although her black cat's a boy. That's why it's Kiko. <laughs> Kiko and Modna. <laughs> you should sell them for 25 cents less without the card backing. Maybe most people would go for it. I don't want two variants. <laughs> what would be four variants? A with card, A without card, B with card, B without card. Um, what was I getting up to grab? Oh yeah, bin. A bin for the bins. Hmm, Christian hasn't come down here to tell me he finished, but he probably wouldn't. He would just be like <laughs> playing his games. No. <laughs> My farts. Oh, they smell. He's probably like, well, she hasn't brought me more. She was lucky to have my farts. And I'm like, well, he hasn't told me he's done. <laughs> so I do love it. But also, he's probably gonna start cooking right away because it's five o'clock. B grade should automatically not have the card. Why? I mean, if I'm short on cards, maybe. Because <laughs> I have exactly 500 cards and 500 pins. And I accidentally cut up one of the strawberry cards. Uh, Get ready to have those bells jingled. <laughs> do this on camera, Bailey. Why would you do the task off camera? So you both are slacking. <laughs> hey, I'm doing stuff. I'm not slacking. If you look for nut-free candy, anything by Tootsie Roll is nut-free. Anything by Tootsie Roll. So Tootsie Rolls? <laughs> I mean, what else do they make? I know they have the brown ones and they have the colorful ones. Good night, Ina. No, give me the card back variant. <laughs> Tootsie Pops. Oh, that's true. Okay, okay. Didn't realize how soon Easter is. It's like 10 days or something. It's what, the 31st? I guess it depends if you're thinking of Sunday versus Monday too. Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday, Saturday gets shafted. Oh, the doorbell just rang. That better be my thread. It's been like three weeks. It's UPS. I see, I can't see the package. It's too close to the door, but <gasps> that might mean it's small. But would it come UPS? Christian's going, so that's why I'm not moving. I could hear him get up. Oh, it's a big box. I just scrolled back. It's my Link figure. It's my Link figure. I saw the side of the box. It said, there was a big Z and it said Link on it and there was a sword through the Z. Huh? I ordered this thing last year. It's my Link figure. 
I ordered this like almost a year ago. Really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> what? <laughs> just the giant link on the side. Oh, I thought you meant with a year ago. You said you couldn't tell. No. <gasps> oh my God. This has been in transit for like two months. <laughs> oh wait, ship date, January 31st. Yeah, so pretty much two months. <laughs> Woo! I'm not unboxing that on stream. It's too big. It's gonna have to go in the vlog. But this vlog or the next, ah! Like I'm basically done filming the Friday vlog. So I feel like everything's gonna, everything else is gonna have to go in the Monday vlog. Okay, I'll show you pictures of it though. I'll show you pictures of what it looks like. Uh, uh, ah. Okay, first I gotta find the pictures. Now these are like the pre-order picks, so I don't know how different it would actually look. Okay, you're gonna get an infinity for a sec. Oh wait, my scene selector's off. Hold on. When I'm streaming, I have to hide one of my windows. I guess I could switch audio mixer. Okay, hold on. We'll make this scene selector save. Okay, so prepare for infinity. <laughs> Oh my God, it's actually still available. Closing soon though. Wait, is this the right one? Wait, that's not expensive enough. But that's the figure. Did they drop the price? Cause I definitely, is this the <laughs> Me trying to remember what I ordered. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was it. <laughs> is that showing? Okay, it is. There's different faces you can put on him. One's like a more realistic. Is this right? Let me go back. I was tricked with the price. Well, actually there was different ones you could buy. Hold on. Oh yeah, cause there's like the deluxe, but that just has an extra head. Oh, that's deposit. That's why, right, right. Full payment. Yeah, it's like 500 bucks. <clears throat> that was just, this is just deposit. The deposit fee. It costs more than this. It's like 500 bucks for the deluxe edition. But yeah, you can have the different faces on them. I'm unsure which one I want. Probably the more game realistic one. Well, I think there's three. Three faces. Oh my God, where am I gonna put it? What the? Where's it two faces? But one picture looked more cartoony. This looks like realist. This is semi-realistic. This is realistic. But then there was a cartoony one too. That was kind of similar to the semi-realistic, I thought. One of the pics had it. That one. That's the really cartoony one. This is the semi-cartoony. Semi-cartoony, that's the realistic in the middle. Can't see the comments. Monday vlog, you say, ah, Bailey, you spoil us. He's so pretty, he's beautiful, I need one. Surprised you're still alive. Yeah, usually I go to around 5.45. Whenever supper's ready is when I end it. So it's 5.11 right now. I wanna kiss him. <laughs> that's so cool, oops. Yeah. He's finally mine. Mushroom, apple, <laughs> the lilies. So hopefully the actual thing looks as cool as these prototype picks. Holy detail, you can see like the knitting of his tunic. <laughs> Is 
Anyway. That was just delivered! Ah! Ah! Okay, so what all is there for the next vlog? There was showing the shirt design. Could be in the next vlog. The link, but I thought something else came up in the stream. Not the sketchbook cover. Something else. And I was like, that would be in the next vlog. Mm, I forget. Ear thing. Right! Thank you. I gotta start writing this down. Oh, the content's creating itself. Okay. Shirt design. Because I don't want the shirt design to be like at the end of the Friday vlog. I got saved it for earlier in the vlog. Okay, shirt design. Or did I film it already? No. I don't know. Link. Statue. Ear cleaning. <laughs> oh, that Monday vlog's gonna be juicy. Oh, it's not a Kiki hair, it's a Bailey hair. <laughs> Ear thing to flush out my ears and clean them. It's coming tomorrow. I ordered it on stream today. <laughs> Can you put an announcement in the community tab when you plan a game stream? Mm, that's actually probably a good idea. Cause I do tweet it on the trainer Skittle Twitter account, but there's not many people over there. <laughs> and I don't really advertise it. Next sketchbook drop when? I'm hope. Well, for sure, hopefully by late summer because there's the Halloween one. It would be nice to drop the Luna Moth one before that, but they're coming together in the same shipment. So it's like, I guess it depends how early they come. Because if they come early, I'm not dropping the Halloween one early. But yeah, hopefully by early to midsummer, but. Because the whole process takes five to seven months, and I ordered them at the start of January. So. <laughs> I better have them in time for August. Because ah! <laughs> that's when I would drop the Halloween stuff is August. Because then there's time for everyone to receive their stuff before October. You know? Because if you have like Halloween stationery, you want to use it in October. Like you want to have your Halloween stationery in hand before October 1st. Ideally. So that's why I want to drop the Halloween slash fall stuff. It's not just Halloween, also just autumn, autumnal. And really, I consider September 1st the start of autumn, even though it's still summer, technically. It's like back to school, you know, back to school feels like fall. They call it the fall semester. Once a member, always a member. No, sketchbooks aren't in yet. They will be later in the year. But yeah, April 9th will be the next shop update. Sans sketchbook. Hi, doctor. Stephanie, thank you for the nine months. I'm excited for your new sticky notes, yeah. That's partially why the shop update is delayed is because I did What's end up ordering girl? some post-it note brand ones. These are not that bad. The adhesive, the adhesive is probably a little weak though. So I'll still sell these. They'll be pretty cheap because they didn't cost me very much. And then the post-it brand ones will be more expensive. So there will be 200 of these and then 500 of the post-it ones. But that's actually kind of nice because these would probably sell way too fast, especially the sunset ones. So now more people will be able to get their hands on them. But the cheap ones will be pretty limited. And then also I did, since I delayed the shop update, I decided to order some physical planner pads because I was just gonna do digital download only. 
but I'm just gonna go lower quantity and increase the price. Which will be nice, because then I won't be afraid to order the planner pads if I'm just getting 250 of each. I'm buying all the things. I'm really excited about this pet washi. I'm so, I'm excited to make more of these. They're so cool. They're hard to peel, because <laughs> they're not adhesive on the back until you peel them. Although I, when I cut it, I cut it offset so that it would be easy to peel, but it's clear and it's got a white base so it's not transparent at all. It goes on fully opaque, but the edges are transparent. So cute. Gotta make more of these. <laughs> what gets tricky as I make more different product types, it's like anytime there's a new design or like a new collection, like I can't put that design on everything. Lunamoth's kind of getting everything. You know, it's getting like, it had the sweatshirts. Now it's getting like planner pad, notepad, sticky note, enamel pin, washi tape, tote bag, sketchbook, stickers. And it's kind of spread out. Like the sketchbooks will be later. But I have to limit to a certain extent. <laughs> but it's hard to not put it on everything. You already have the Luna Moss sketchbooks? No, I've ordered them. I ordered them in January, but they'll be here in the summertime. Any chance dainty flower planner pads are coming back at some point? Probably not, because the planner pads don't sell that well. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I might put a few up because I have some extras. So I might restock my extras, but then that's it which I should do for this next shop update. <laughs> uh, Cause like I'd have to, I could go with like my, like at first of all, I'd redesign it to be rectangular, but then I would order the 250. Wait, I don't think I could sell 250 of them. Like I'd rather maybe move on to a new flower one or like a modified version of dainty flower that maybe with like a white background instead of cream color. I'm just not confident I could sell more because they took a long time to sell out. Have you ever considered a veggie farmer market kind of theme for tote bags or shopping bags? Yes. And just like in general, like that veggie gardener, like you said, farmer market kind of theme. I would love to do some Once stuff a like member, that. Always a member. Me make pumpkin tap like the rose tap oh like tape wait rose tape what's the rose tape i'm confused ceo thank you for the 10 months and katie cat thank you for the nine months oh and by squeaky probably already gone squeak me <laughs> squeak me slowly okay I'm like, do I want to open a whole new bag of pins when the stream's this close to being done? I mean, like, they have to be done regardless. I'm through... Well, assuming Christian's done his pinning, I'm through 300 straws out of 500. And I'm only through 50 Luna Moths out of 500. Uh. We'll just keep it cash. Is the stream ending? Yes, yeah, soon. Christian started cooking supper like 10 minutes ago whenever that shipment came in <laughs> updating christmas bunnies for spring and summer i mean i'm not doing season based things right now other than like fall but i do plan to do some bunny stuff for my kind of thrown together summer update i say thrown together but i know as soon as i start drawing bunnies i'm gonna end up having at least a small collection. 
<laughs> Twitch chat is dead. <laughs> Everyone's on YouTube. Should take a break for tonight. I can at least start getting them out of their bags while we sit here and chat, I suppose. I chose finishing my book over Baystream and now I'm sad it's ending right as I joined. <laughs> I guess you could watch the recording. It's not quite the same, but. Okay, my bag of small bags spilt and they're all over the floor. <laughs> My little headache's coming back. It's very mild, very mild. <laughs> Maybe I just need food. That's probably it. Maybe I should drink some water too. Oh, pumpkin clear tape. Oh, like the tulip ones. Okay, I was confused by the rose comment, but yeah, yeah do some, yeah, I would, yeah. That's the thing now too is like <laughs> now every time I have a new collection I'm gonna want to do like a normal washi and a clear washi. <laughs> ah! I guess having too many ideas is better than no ideas. Katie says I'm the doctor on Twitch and I switched to YouTube. Any movie show recommendations? I'm trying to work up the ambition to watch Dune. Oh, I haven't seen Dune yet, but I want to. Like, I haven't seen the first one. I wanna watch it. But, hmm, what have I been, I've been watching Survivor, which is tonight. Here's tonight, oh, hell yeah. Um, Bridgerton, I really like. If you like period dramas, Bridgerton. I have like a little notepad of everything coming out. I like the show The Traitors. It's not the best, but it's it's all right. Like a game show kind of thing. Where's my notes app? There it is. I have the upcoming stuff written here. <laughs> Avatar, okay, I liked the Avatar series, the live action series. I have like dates of when everything comes back. Avatar, February 22nd. Survivor, February 28th. Bridgerton, May 16th and June 19th. Outlander, to be determined. Moana movies, November 27th. The Wicked movies, November 28th. And then Handmaid's Tale, 2025. Sad face. And I'm sure there's stuff I'm, I'm missing to add on here, but. <laughs> That's the stuff I'm looking forward to watching more seasons of. Christian's been watching Shogun and he really likes it. That just dropped on Disney Plus. I haven't seen any of it, but I liked the new Avatar series too. Dying for Handmaid's Tale to return. Stream froze. Just for you or for everybody? Same here, Elena. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can anyone hear me? Not frozen for me, okay. It's good for me, back, fine on Twitch, okay. <laughs> I was like, Streamlabs looks good, but it doesn't show me, like with regular OBS, it show, would show me my bit rate in the corner and I could like see that it's actively going and it would show if I had any dropped frames. It does not show that at the bottom of Streamlabs OBS. I kind of like regular OBS better, but I'm using this for the multi-streaming feature. Although I probably could go back to using Restream. Because I could probably still use the bot rick. Well, yeah, because I could probably have the bot ricks chat as a an OBS window. I liked that the Streamlabs OBS had the integrated combined chat, but it's, it doesn't look as good visually. <laughs> so now I'm not... <laughs> Like now I don't really need to be using Streamlabs OBS, but I just am. I'd have to reprogram my stream deck. I switched all my buttons to work for Streamlabs OBS. And so if I went back to OBS, I'd have to switch them all back. No, live is almost ending, but I need more. <laughs> I can see, hear you and see you. Last day I watched Damsel after 
it your in the vlog. Yeah, Damsel's a good movie. I liked it. I didn't know the concept for the movie at all when I watched it. I log into Netflix, there's a banner for it, and it's showing like some clips of it, but it's all just like people in a castle wearing their fancy outfits. And I was like, I'm sold, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> and then I was like, what the hell is this? Something sinister is going on here. I didn't even know it was a dragon movie. And that's like the main thing about it. <laughs> Papa, more live stream. Regular OBS can stream multi-platform, yeah. And there's a way to do it without something like Restream. It looks really confusing. Well, there's some extension you need. But my first multi-stream, I did use Restream. But I didn't like how the chat looked. So then I did like the Streamlabs one. But now I'm not even using the Streamlabs chat. And I'm paying for Streamlabs Premium to multi-stream. So now I'm like, should I just go back to Restream and regular OBS? Although I do like this panel layout of Streamlabs. But I can do pop-out panels with regular OBS. Hmm. hmm. See, I think I stopped paying for Streamlabs Ultra. Because Restream's free. And it doesn't have a watermark if you're going live from OBS. If you're going live from the Restream website, on the free version, it has a watermark, Once but. A member, always a member. Hey, Bay Poo. <laughs> Bay Poo. Hey, Vapid. Plus, you can moderate chat from the restream chat, which is nice. So I could have that as like a backup. Like, I'd still use the Botrix chat, but I could have it as a backup the restream chat for moderation purposes. Purposes. I love Damsel. I was excited when you talked about it because it was so good. <laughs> yeah, Christian was watching it in Palm Springs because, oh yeah, he didn't join us on this little outing we did because he wasn't feeling well. And so he watched like half of it and then he resumed it on another day when and I was there because it was the day his parents were driving some of our family members back to the airport and we stayed at the Verbo. And so we were I <laughs> I was like, wait, what was I doing? I don't remember what I was doing in originally, but Christian started resuming his watch through of Damsel and I just stood there and was watching it. <laughs> Even though I'd already seen it, I like, couldn't take my eyes off of it. And then I just sat on the couch. I was like, all right, I'm not gonna do what I was gonna do. I'm just gonna <laughs> watch this. Even though I just watched it like the week prior. How do you stream your music browser or media source? Neither, I just have a Chrome tab playing and it comes through my desktop audio. It's not an actual source in OBS, it's just a window. The same way if you were to play like a YouTube video, it would come, the sound would come through. He was sick again, yeah. He was, he got the same thing he gets whenever we travel. He had it once recently too, like really recently without traveling. But he like gets ill every time we travel. And it starts like the day after, every time. He even went to the doctor. I mean, I never really got any definitive answers and he got these pills to take in the morning before he eats, but it didn't fix it. Is there slots or just gamble? I think just gamble. The slot thing, no one was winning slots. Cause you have to match three things. 
but like there's a big pool of what you could roll. So your odds of winning are just so low. Like it didn't make sense to me. Unless there's ways to change the settings, but I thought I looked at that. It was so good. <laughs> I've seen Dune 2 twice in cinema. My boyfriend is a manager in a cinema, so I don't pay for movies. Best thing ever. <laughs> I really want to watch Dune. Oh yeah, we want to watch Wonka too. Christian's brought that up a couple times that he wants to watch it. So, I mean, possibly tonight. We have Survivor first. Well, no, right now we can only watch Survivor at nine o'clock. We used to watch it at seven, but that's when we had cable. Cause there's like the Eastern time and then there's Pacific time. Well, it's not, it would be mountain time cause it's nine o'clock, seven and nine. It's only two hours anyway, but we don't have cable anymore, but we are logging into Christian's brother's cable account, but he doesn't have all the channels. So he only has the one time zone cause it airs on global TV in Canada. We don't have CBS. So anyway, we watch it at nine o'clock now because we have to watch it live as it's airing. Or we can watch it like the next day, I think. But if you want to watch a day of release, we got to watch it live at 9 p.m. though. Anyways, we'll get around to Wonka when we get around to it. <laughs> Wonka really good, I loved Wonka. It's on HBO Max. We don't have HBO Max in Canada. So it's probably somewhere else. Are we talking about Wonka? It'd probably be on Crave at least. We have a lot of streaming platforms. Like we have subscriptions to a lot of them, but not everything. Oh, and we gotta watch more. We've been watching, we started watching Quiet on set, that Nickelodeon doc. We got through three episodes last night. I need my lip balm, it's on the floor. My lip balm's on the floor because Kiki knocked it down. Where did it roll off to? Where the heck is it? Oh, it's way over here, oh my God. Oh my God, right as Jenny was saying, <laughs> have you seen the Quiet On Set docuseries? Yeah, I mean, we're working on it. I don't know how many episodes there are, but we've seen three of them. Wonka was a weird movie? I'd hope so. Willie's a wacky guy. As soon as I sent that, you said that. <laughs> Can we ass the keek? No, baby. <laughs> oh, see, see, not ass. <laughs> oh, there she is. Supper will be ready soon. This could just be the pet kiki show. Do you see her missing fur here? Not the big bald spots, but like right along her eyebrow. There's an extra spot missing for, I think Midna plucked it out when they were fighting. Oh, poor little teen. But she also plucks out Midna's fur, so you know. It's just in such a sad, noticeable spot. Oh, me. Oh, me. <laughs> Tight squeeze. <laughs> Why use the cat bed when you got a box right here? I had to take this out of the box so she could lay in it. Spoiled BB. I'm just petting you. I'm just petting you. My baby, my baby. You're my Isn't baby. My baby. Remember when I stuck the sticker on you? That was so funny. That was so funny. She's struggling to grab it. No.
By the way, it's not super sticky. <laughs> She's shedding a, a lot right now, okay? This is just excess fur. <laughs> we got back from vacay and it was just like you pet them and it was like clumps of fur on your hand. It was like, oh. <laughs> Especially because Kiki never got any pets because she's too shy to see the cat sitter. We got videos of Midna from the cat sitter. But I don't know how many pets Midna got. You know. My black cat also has bald eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, this is the usual bald spot. But you got an extra little one right on the edge of her eyelid. Minoosh! I heard some sad meows. Midna, come see everybody. I think she's by the stairs. I heard you, BB. She did her little cry meow. Oh, she's over there. Hi, Minus. Come over here. Everybody wants to see you. Oops, I'm blocking it. Oh, there she is. Oh, baby Minus. Hello. A little mini shake. Yeah, you little cutie. <laughs> She's so noisy in the vlog, you're gonna see. And it's cause she, the weather was so nice a couple days ago. And so when Christian would go for his vape, she would go outside and she rolls around on the brick out there. And so she kept meowing to be let out. But even the next day, it was cold the next day and she was still meowing to go out. And we're like, no, it's cold, it's cold. <laughs> And she's like, <laughs> yeah, you're noisy. Doesn't want to go out in the snow today though. The chunky baby has appeared <laughs> to baby. My cat has to have anti-anxiety meds on Monday because they think she might have a heart murmur but they can't tell as she was freaking out the last time so she needs to be high so they can tell. <laughs> And then Kiki are from the same litter, right? Yeah. Oh, hi. There she is. Love vocal kitties. <laughs> it was getting annoying though. Yes, <laughs> yesterday I was like, hey, I did let her out once, but not for too long because it was cold. And then as soon as I. As soon as we went back inside, she's just meow, meow. she's back at the door. Meow, meow. <laughs> We've created a monster. That's what I said in the vlog. Kiki's planning her sister's death. Getting some good sniffs over there, Minoosh. Got her head in the pin bin. Better not puke in there. Oh my god, when you said she's always so vocal, what a cutie. My brain read it as what a cunty. <laughs> Is Kiki more your cat, Midna more Christians? Like who do they prefer? Yeah, I would definitely say so. Oh, I get a lot of Minu cuddles in the evening. On the couch, on my legs. But in general, she'll go hang out where Christian is. And I see her more now that Christian does the embroidery down here. She spends more time down here. But she was almost never down here before because she wanted to be by Christian. My little house panther, Felix. Says hello to Kiki and Midna. Oh my goodness. What do you think, Kiki? <laughs> I'm so fascinated by cats that can't have them because of allergies. Have a lovebird though. <laughs> Kiki looks evil right now. Mm. 
Midna a chunk. <laughs> Okay, I might wind down the stream because supper's gonna be ready like literally any minute. But also like he'll call me for supper and then I'm trying to like say my goodbyes but then I have to shut off like all the cameras, all the lights, power off the microphone, power off the base for the microphone. Like I'm running around doing all like the tech stuff. So <laughs> I think I'm just gonna end it here because it's gonna end in like two minutes anyway. Even though it hurts to hang up. Tagged you on Twitter like a month ago, my cat watching the stream. She was so invested. <laughs> Supper, it's almost quarter to midnight here. <laughs> it's quarter to six here. Okay, fine, leave us. <laughs> the Bay WTF and mad. <laughs> okay, goodbye, sad face. No. Thanks for chatting, likewise. It was lovely to be here, huh? Enjoy your evening. You guys as well. Oh, baby. Oh, look at that little dee dee. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>